Jesus. He's one of my orphans here. Just another, just another sucking on the tit for, for more, you know, God, Quantum Week Chris. Yes. What does that say? Take October? Yeah, it's, a, it's an old man. Oh, oh, I yeah, thought yeah. You, were, you were reinvigorated by, uh, by the I, big offseason. I am. The That's, Metropolitan's getting I'm it so done. so excited. Max Scherzer, who John Dennis was obsessed with the, his eyes being different colors. That's all he ever said. If uh, anything Max Scherzer did, because he's got two different color eyes. Sterling Marte. That's right. And uh, Mark Canna. Um, I don't know who that is. Robbie Ray. No, no, mm-hmm. no. He went. He went elsewhere. That's the uh, first time I've never heard of somebody who won the Cy Young Award. Like I had never heard of Robbie Ray. Though. Never in my life really? have I heard that name. Ever on the watch baseball? I never heard of that person. Yeah, I pitched for the Diamondbacks. For Why a while. does a Cy Young winner? Oh, so he's not young. Uh not young. So he wasn't. He wasn't property of the uh, no. Blue Jays. No, I think that was his first or second year at the Blue Jays. Okay, so he, was, yeah. he wasn't like a club controlled guy. No. Gotcha, gotcha, no. gotcha. He, and, Mac, he, and Max Scherzer is young, right? He's like, what, 28? <laughs> How old is he? Hey, about 10 years off. Okay, how many years do they give him? Three. That's not that bad. No. The He's, problem is the money is like the the uh, the average annual salary. Is so I'm okay fast. with that, though. I've always I, said. Oh, I, I don't have a problem with that. I always said, you give those old guys, give them a shitload of money for a couple of years. Don't give them eight, seven, eight years like these lunatics do. It never works. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with them signing. I. Who are the Mets going to hire as a manager? Uh, maybe Buck Showalter. I like Buck Showalter. I, well, the, He's a good manager. The, I'm owner, fine with that. the owner of the Mets was willing to spend anything. He doesn't. He doesn't well, care. Of course, he doesn't care about the t- luxury tax. He's a billionaire, right? So who cares if we give guys insane amount of money? Like it doesn't matter. Like the luxury tax is irrelevant to him, right? But I mean, it doesn't matter for Showalter. But I'm saying, why wouldn't they just go hire the very? Is there some guy out there? that's like, is there like a Belichick out there? There's really know. not. There's no. There's no great candidate. Man, they just stupid. Man, it just doesn't matter anyway. Like, it matters, it doesn't matter. Like, it's not that important. It's not like a football coach. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Belichick is the greatest coach in the history of any sport ever. It no. cannot be argued anymore. It's not even, you can't even have the conversation. He's the greatest coach of any sport. Losing ever. record without Tom Brady as his quarterback okay, I mean, in his career. All right. I'm just saying. Okay. I mean, How's he doing right now? Who's going to be who's who's the coach right of the year this year in the NFL? Uh, it might be Cliff Kingsbury. No, he's, they were good last year, weren't they? No, they weren't that great. They're not, what, what are they, they're Bill not Belichick is not going to be coach of the year? No, he might, no, he might be. He's the great. Who's okay? So who's the better? I don't know who the odds on favorite. The odds on favorite. I don't care about a couple that. weeks ago well, well, was, was well, Kingsbury. Well, hold on. Who's a better coach in, in historically than Belichick? Uh, oh, any sport? Yes, Casey Stengel. Oh, how do you do with the Mets? Oh, come on. When he's he a Mickey thousand Mantle. years old, that team how did he do before? How did Belichick do with the Browns? He made the playoffs one year. Then they fucking moved in the middle of the night. <laughs> like oh, the, you, you, you know, well, they fired. He never coached in Baltimore. Right? He went correct. He, yeah. How do you do with Matt Castle? Uh, he did well. But he how do you do with Drew Bledsoe? Uh, not great. Five no, and 13, great. but yeah. I, I contend, first of all, I'll say this about Belichick. It was a fluke. They drafted Brady. Nobody can, I could, I'll be happy. We might just talk about this all day, Dave. I'm happy to talk about this. It was a fluke that they drafted Brady. I completely agree with that. Where I give Belichick credit on Brady is this. He kept him on the active roster that first year as the fourth fucking quarterback. They had four quarterbacks on that team. It was a Michael of Bishop, John Freeze, that's right, Bledsoe, and and they, Freeze. Fifty-three players, four were quarterbacks. Belichick would never do that. Now he knew Brady was good, and I believe he was going to replace Bledsoe with Brady anyway. Eventually, no question. Oh, was, I think he definitely, obviously, wanted to because right. when Bledsoe was, was able to come back, it was right. He was giving crap shit already about that preseason yeah. before, no doubt. What he's doing right now, if they win the Super Bowl this year, it is ten times more impressive than Brady when going somewhere is a prostitute last year winning the Super Bowl. What Belichick is doing was as I've always said, Belichick's brain is more valuable than Brady's arm. Brady has no brain. More valuable than Brady's arm. Belichick is the, the Well last year might might be like that a little bit. Why? Why? Because Brady won a Super Bowl and Belichick they, they, didn't make the playoffs. They didn't panic though. They didn't panic and take some quarterback. They waited for the guy they liked. They they took a hit for a year. To be better in the long run, they're winning the Super Bowl this year. Oh no! no, no. My foolish. Patriots are winning that's the Super Bowl against Tom Brady. I love, I love this team that's, this year. I watch. I haven't missed it. I haven't missed it since a, I, I started watching them uh, Halloween night. I handed out candy. They beat the Chargers in San Diego, and I said, "I like this team." And I said, "I don't know if I was on the air at that point." This team reminds me exactly of the 2001 team, and they do. This that was a 2001 win on Monday night. I was emotional watching that game. Not as emotional as the end of Rocky II, which is a, a scene that makes me cry every time I cried watching it last night. Oh, oh yeah, it's a very emotional so scene. The last round, uh, beginning when the we'll get to we'll get to Brady and your Brady calls in a moment. When the 14th round ends and Duke is talking to Apollo in the corner, they st- the, the scene starts with Apollo spitting into the thing, and Duke is saying it's beautifully done by Stallone, who I think is underrated as a filmmaker, as an actor, absolutely, as an entertainer. His brother Frank is underrated. His well, mom, that's, that's his mom true. is no, underrated. No, no. Jack, the entire rated. family. 
Uh, Duke says to him, because Apollo's way ahead, as the announcer said, I got Apollo way ahead on points. And he was way ahead on points. But it didn't matter to Apollo. Apollo had to knock Rocky out in that fight. If he beat Rocky by decision again, it's the same old shit. And it's beautifully laid out by Sloan because Apollo's like, I'm knocking him out. Duke's like, do not fucking, don't mess with this fucking guy. And Rocky in the other end is like, don't, don't stop nothing. Boom, they fight. They both fall down, which is awesome. He gets up. The announcer says, you know, in the stunning upset, scoring the victory by knockout. Sloan's crying. I'm crying. It's a great moment. Oh, what? The Rocky franchise is so great. It's so important in American history. There's no more important piece of art than the Rocky franchise ever. Rocky Balboa is the best character in film. Rocky Balboa, as I said, when he got screwed out of the Oscar by that yes. asshole foreigner, uh, Mark Rylance, well. in that <laughs> shithead Spielberg's movie. Uh, I wish Steve was still here because the things Steve Robinson would tell me about Spielberg were brutal. Off, off, uh, and now Spielberg's directing a fucking musical. Great. Um, which I guess is supposed to be pretty good, though. I have no desire to see Getting it. Getting great buzz. But I mean, I well, you might want to hold off on seeing that. Oh, I'm going yeah, to wait. Take uh, your yes, I, I, take your time. I, I think I might. Uh, Rocky Balboa is the most iconic character in American film history. I, there's no character in media I love more. Right, he's been. I root. I root for that guy. All like I, I cry at the end of Rocky one. I cry at the end of Rocky two. I, uh, even Creed makes me. He's great in that movie. Creed two even the end of Creed two is a, is. They're saying he's not in Creed three. If he's not in Creed three, this is. This he's not be, in Creed three. I guess uh, right? he'll he'll be in it. There's to be it, I have no desire to watch Adonis Jordan's fucking story really without Stallone. I just don't like. I'll watch it, but I'm not gonna be as invested. Nobody will be. You can't make a Rocky movie. That's a Rocky movie. Yeah, but are, Rocky's we, the critic, are we just like too old though? Like, you know what I mean? Is that audience look, want? I guess, but I, I went to see the theater. It was a bunch of guys my age going to see it. I know, me too. Like, you know, a bunch of, you know, honestly, a bunch of white guys going to see it in the theater. So I don't know. I, I mean, I like Michael B. Jordan. I don't think he's great, but he's okay. Anyway, long way of saying. Uh, what was I saying about Belichick? Going to win the Super Bowl. Greatest oh, that, of all time. guaranteed. Yeah. There's no, that, lock it up. I saw some guys, uh, some guys a $50 million bet. They'll make $50 million off Penn National if they win the Super Bowl. Did you see that? Wow, really? Oh. Yeah. yeah, this guy from Houston. Mattress Mac, they call Oh, is that guy? Oh, that guy yeah. does crazy. Yeah, he's, crazy bets. Yeah, he he's like the stuff. fucking uh, Jordan's Furniture guy of Houston, who does a lot of shit on charity, I think. But he says it's better. He's to- friends with my friend, Conrad Thompson. Oof. Yeah. Tough. What's that? Good guy. Is he a good guy? Who? Conrad Thompson? I have no idea. I don't know, but this guy is a big charity guy. This yeah. is this other guy. So I, I think he'll donate, he may donate all the charity. Who knows? Did you hear uh, Kurt Warner on part of my take just like bitching? About, I did not hear Kurt Warner on part Did of you my see take. that though? Like, I, no, I didn't. He just sounded so whiny talking about like you shouldn't have to play football in the elements like they did on Monday night. It's so just corny. Like he's obsessed with playing in dome. He, want, he wants everything to be in a dome basically. Well, he also thinks that like there's a guy in the sky fucking, you know. <laughs> Putting things together. I mean, this is not a human being. Isn't yeah. Disconnected with reality. That's true. Fine quarterback. I'm glad he's in the Hall of Fame. I look forward to that motion picture. I know I won't be seeing it in the theater, but <laughs> others, will others will be. Yes. <laughs> so, let's, so let's let's cut. Before we get back to the sports stuff, let's cut the bullshit right okay. now, okay? Because we spent a lot of time breaking this down yesterday. So I heard. This is obviously, you know, you're a big film fan, as am I. This is like almost like Heaven's Gate, where you can see the disaster before <laughs> it happens. Uh, you know, it's 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 Ishtar the kind of island thing. Of yeah, it's, just, it's just everything's wrong. Let's 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 settle some. So for, I, I, Dave was far more critical than I yesterday. I don't know if you noticed the underlying. Well, Dave just seemed confused as always. Yeah. No surprise. So let's break this down one by one. <laughs> so but the name of the, which, which we are happy to publicize, and it seems like it's doing very well is my understanding. Yeah, so top 40 still. Top 40. In just crazy. Podcast. Sure it is. For, well, it is for me. Why do you badmouth other podcasts like on the charts? You were, Who, me? It? No, him. He's like tweeting like, oh, it sucks that I'm around succession podcasts. I'm but just I looking don't, around, I didn't, Dave. This. I didn't see this. Dave, I, I, was just, I was just kidding around. I know. I'm just kidding. I'm it's, not, like it's like a spinoff of our show, Dave. You should be happy. I am like, happy. You know, it's Chris, I'm ecstatic about it. Chris part of the show. It's a spinoff in a way of our show. It's going to be like uh, After Mash when Matt is <laughs> right, <over. yeah>. I'm <laughs> Harry, Harry Morgan. Yes. Yeah, you're fucking, uh, yeah, you're Jamie Farr. Uh, so, okay. So, I'm that by calling in. Uh, so the first episode, you've corrected, will be up January 1st. January 3rd. That's stupid it's not it's i see stupid. a movie january 1st january 2nd and then january 3rd the episode comes out in the morning day. you have to do every day i, I can't Why i'm not, not going to because i'm also Eight producing this kirk i have to go and record it let's not make it out like you know this is not citizen kane back up you, you guys are talking very this is very quick he's saying he's seeing a movie on january 1st yes of course but you're not going to produce the content Correct, that's about what i'm saying what yeah. i'm going to produce the content the night of january 2nd if i don't see a matinee it might be very late on january 2nd chris do it. I'm, t- I'm telling you, listen to me. I, we've Listen, we, we're both in the business, right? <laughs> I understand that. I don't want to tell sure, you. Sure. I, I'm, I mean, I could, you know, I, I, I like that you're getting all this buzz for your podcast, and I think it's all generated by you completely. Absolutely. Okay. So <laughs> let me just give you my, a nickel's worth back. of free advice, best I can. Yes, yeah, sure. I think you probably heard me say this yesterday if you listen to the program. Of I course know. I do. Yes. Um, you have to do this every day. That's part of the, that's what makes it interesting. 
I okay. So here's and the, you only see movies on weekdays. No, okay, that's okay. so dumb. Okay, well, I don't know where that came from. Well, Dave said that. Well, I didn't go. Well, I mean, obviously, there's confusion. You're seeing a movie Correct. on January 1st, and then all of a sudden, it's not going to be heard or talked about till January 3rd. Yeah, we're you the, can understand that someone would be confused by whatever you've laid out. There's a out wilderness here. here that we're trying to traverse through. Yeah, sure. You know? It's like like uh, Lewis and Clark literally would were, were cutting shit, th- walking through the forest. Like there was, can you imagine that? They were just going through all the way. I saw in the HBO book, which I read, which I didn't like because I don't like James. I have It's oh, next up for me. Uh, good luck. It's fucking brutal. I mean, there's good parts, but... It can't be that I bad. want to read it. You're yeah. just mad he won't come on this show. He can't be no, that bad. If you want to hear about, like, you know... Well, first of all, he he's just being an asshole. He can come on he this just show. Didn't like he's you just did. an asshole. No, he doesn't like Barstool. No, I, yeah. I've read... I've looked oh, is that what it was? He's yeah. Yeah. Barstool. So he can go fuck himself. Continue to do project with guys who beat up women. Um, Ed Norton and Brad Pitt were going to do a Lewis and Clark miniseries on HBO. Which I think probably would have been okay, I think. I think it would have been great. Sounds like Edward Norton, as usual, was just an asshole. So, anyway... So we're just trying to get get to the truth here. Okay, so it's every you're gonna go see a movie every day, starting yes. January first. Do you Correct. know where you're going January first to kick this off? No, I mean the, t- the show times haven't been released. Did you like my idea of the December thirty first final show where you do a live show and everyone's there watching it with you? I was I was I had that in mind anyway. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Um, sure he did. What's that? I just you, said sure he did. Well, December thirty first will be perfect for a Chris live show. It'll be twenty six degrees outside and twenty eight <laughs> degrees inside. There so you I go. look forward to that at the <laughs> Strand Theater. Jesus Christ, I'm still I'm still recovering mentally from that. <laughs> I don't know Losing why all this so weight. If I, was, I had my old weight, I would have been fine. It was cold in there. I know, I know. I said, I don't know why. I could see my breath. We, I don't think we'll be choosing that location again. Oh, you're down in the Strand Theater. Eh. It was okay. It was okay. I, I, I'm not going again if those guys are going. The guys behind me again, though. I will not attend if they're near me. I don't even know who they were. They so. will not reveal themselves. Yeah, they won't pussies. Shame. Pussies. Yeah. pussies. Well, shame. If I see them at the Wilbur, if they're trying to VIP it there, I'm not taking a picture with them. Okay. Noted, right? I, rem- I know the faces for sure. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Yep. Uh, so what? So you're gonna do it every other day? So yes. one Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, no, I mean, it could be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Like it's every other day. So then if it's random like that, just do it every day. Well, it's not random. It's every other day. I know, but but if you get put them on the weekends, you might as well just do the whole every day anyway. Don't you understand if you're in, you're in. I know, but you're, so, you're, 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 so here's you're, my you're, concern you're, though. You're dipping. Uh, I have a concern you don't run into is okay. that uh, how many people are actually gonna listen to this show? Not a lot of people. Who cares? Well, if you want to have sponsors, you want to have things like that. You're gonna have. To I have said the show will sponsor it. You're going to sponsor the entire endeavor? Well, oh, we'll be a sponsor on it. I don't, I don't want to. I mean, I don't want to advertise anywhere else except there. I okay. think that's <laughs> well, that's good. That makes I appreciate me appreciate that. And we, <laughs> and we get options sent to us all the time. You reject every every single one of them. What to sponsor their programs? Sure, oh, I'm sure. Want, yeah, I turn down things. I sure. All the time. Why not? But you know, because I think it's a unique Christmas podcast with a unique audience that, that our listeners probably aren't used to. So it'll be a chance to say, "Oh, there's a Kirk Minahan show. This sounds really good. I think maybe I'll give this a shot." <laughs> It's definitely very effective advertising. Well, there were people at the, your, your live show who were not Minda fans. I can confirm that. There yeah. Was, there were, no, there were. There were random people there. Yeah, majority Minda fans, but I'm sure there were. No, but no, no, there, there definitely were. Yeah, they're called wives, daughters, what? you know, a family that's member. True, a family that's member not was true. a Minda fan. Absolutely. That's not true. There were random people there. How would you randomly stumble upon Quantum Week? It exists. It exists. We, there, we, we've advertised on a I, few different that's platforms. True, that's there are true. People, there are people. Who, they are on the charts. So I'm, um, that's yeah, not, that's yeah, not fair. Not should, fair. Why don't you do a podcast? Yeah, Jesus Christ. Christ. I shouldn't. Uh, what I'm saying is, <laughs> me personally, every day, it, 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 this half hour thing. So here, well, for here. The, for the birds. I sort of agree with you uh, to some extent. So the first 10 minutes are going to be kind of like the strategy and stuff. And then if people want to hang in, they can listen to me review the movies. If it's movies they're not interested in, they could just simply just. And I like a good movie review, but I don't need 15 minutes on, uh, you know, some shitburger movie. Well, if it's a shitty movie, we'll talk about, I'll talk about people in the movie, kind of like Quantum Week. I mean, we, sometimes we'll cover movies that aren't the most interesting movies, so we try to put the discussion in different ways. This is called At a Theater Near Me. Yes. Okay, you can follow that. Go follow that. So the trailer's up right now. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Did you, did you hear us talk about these? Have you thought about these emergency situations? Yeah. So uh, some, I mean, I've thought about all of them. Let me, uh, let me lay it out. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, February 12th. Okay. It became Minahan's 15th birthday. There is, on February 10th, her original uh, supposed birthday, her, her uh, projected date of birth, um, you see a report. Boy, boy, howdy. You know, three feet coming in New Hampshire. Yeah. Massachusetts, Maine. New, New England is going to be a shitstorm. You know they're going to close the theaters at that point. Three feet of snow, they'll close. They did a couple of years ago during the crazy February. The theaters will close, especially now because nobody's going anyway. Yeah. What does Quantum Week Chris do? If I have that much of a heads up. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you should at that point. I mean, big storms like that. So something do. like that, and it's it's a nor'easter that's going to hit New England. Mm-hmm. We probably board the dogs and maybe Laura and I go to New York for the week or for a couple of days. 
Yeah, but the weather might be bad there too, though. Well, then at that point, then I'm, I'm get some shit out of luck. I mean, oh, so you, oh, so you will but, stop. But, but oh, honestly, Dave, what do you think of this time out, development? Time out. This is, this is, cons- this is, all right, we're all done. Right. We're, we're, you're not going to get me out. You're not going to get me out. We're done here. Here's what, here's what I know. I lived in New York. So did you. And the city is movies to be seen. You know that they don't shut down the theaters in New York City. So uh, if but, they shut down the theaters in New York City, we now. have Blizzard 78. I don't know about now, oh, though. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, theaters are in New York and they're going to shut them all down. That's, that's bullshit. I don't know. I don't know. Laura and I go to New York City for a couple of days and, uh, and we see a couple. Maybe I'll go to the film form. I'm gonna have to do that anyway. I'll probably have to go to the film form. Anyway. Did you hear Dave's, Dave and I's budget proposal? Do you think it's gonna be that big? I don't think it'd be that big, but I don't think you're totally far off. I was, I was a little less than that. I was still in the four digit range. But okay, like what, seven, eight thousand, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Is is any advertisers reached out? Have any other than us? Have any advertisers reached out yet? Uh, a couple. Okay. A couple. Who are we talking? Uh, no, no, no specifics yet. But there's a couple. Wait, uh, no specifics. Well, I don't really know a ton of them. Were they anonymous? People, anonymous. People reach out and say, I, I like your sponsor. I'm like, all right, here's some pricing. Let's talk about. It. And then, and that was literally like last night. This so. is called GoFundMe, essentially. Now, no, I haven't done a GoFundMe. Okay. I was thinking about that after the show. Mm-hmm. I kind of like the idea of people funding his project, but then him having to be open about all the expenses associated with it. Wouldn't that be cool if you like found out the profit and loss of the entire venture? Interesting. You know, yeah, I mean, I like Chris is going and looking in. to make a, make a fortune no, on this. This is a, this is a van, another a passion project, project, a passion project. Yeah, I think so. Right. Or no. Oh yeah. The only thing that I was, so I definitely want to keep the podcast entirely free to grow the audience. Sure. But the only thing I was thinking to potentially charge, and I don't know if I'm even going to do this is a sub stack. I just don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze on Oh, that. like uh, you'll write shit or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. But I just don't know if idea. enough people... It's just such a primitive medium How much now. is that? I don't even know. Like $5 a month, say. And then I write I don't every day. If you get day. 50 people... Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. That's but lot. they wouldn't be like long, you know... You know. Are you taking a leave of absence from the show during the project? Oh, well, I'm, well, I'm just I'm asking. Well, we, we told him he could feel free to do that anytime yeah, he wants. I didn't say that. He doesn't want me on. I want him around. Um... What was my other? I had a couple of other. What other thoughts do we have, Dave, on this? We had a whole bunch. Uh, well, one, just hearing this now, I almost feel like you need to have a meteorologist on call. Like sure. he has to have a go-to person. Sure. So that you can't find that anywhere. He's now, clearly guess, yeah. questioning whether or not, like, if he has enough advance notice. Well, let's go get that. Let's go get that person. Like, Does your wife work remotely? She can. Okay. I mean, why not? Just take how many dogs do you have? Two. Two. What are their names? Wakefield and Melfi. Like Tim Wakefield? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Very boring guy. Nice guy, but a very boring guy. He also looks exactly like the guy in Boogie Nights who was an asshole to Heather Graham and then on a banger in the limousine. That's like a kid, though. It's like a I school. know, but he looked like a kid version. Like, like oh. he's like, he's, he's, just take a look. Just take yeah. a look. Because at the time, he was kind of the same age as Tim Wakefield. I read his biography. He, who wrote, he wrote that with somebody, right? Who was? I Obviously. forget who he wrote it with. Not Mas- Maserati? It might have been. It was, uh, I, I love Tim Wakefield as a pitcher, but that was not a great read. No, no. Anyway. Uh, what were we saying? Oh, the dog. Do you have any thought of just moving down south for a month? Yeah, no, no. Nice warm weather. No. Part, well, part of the fun of this should be like the challenge of it too. If I'm living in Arizona, it's not that it's it's much uh, more achievable. I it's guess part that's of the true. Drama what is your biggest concern? The weather. That's that's really the only major concern. Well, it could, uh, be, uh, well, could be a lockdown. So COVID, I'm going to get my booster shot on December 27th. Okay. So hopefully I'll be. You're good. not seeing a movie between now and then. No, okay. no. Okay, no. we talked about that's, that's Okay. Um, what do you think your first movie will be? Uh, it would, it's going to be something that's already out now. You got to think. So probably think like certainly. House of Gucci, maybe House of Gucci. Yeah. How far back are you going here? I'll go. So like, have you seen Dune? My strategy? No. Okay. My strategy is oldest movies first. So if there's a whatever the oldest movie is in theory is the one I've been like looking at theater counts and trying. So you to might not out. see uh, 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 whatever uh, West Side Story till March potentially. Yeah, I mean, I doubt it'll be that long. Whatever. But, yeah. I bet for the Oscar movie. It'll yeah, be I mean, if, if I could hold it off, that'd be great. What, are you concerned that there's just not a lot of movies out there? There's more than you think. So, like, there's a theater right around here that plays, like, independent, smaller films. And then there's, there's like, the Bridal Theater and then Coolidge. Yeah, they have uh, different movies all the time. They have, like, different movies all the time. Right. Like, classic ones. It's a lot of travel. I'm, I'm, I'm not as far into New Hampshire as you may think I am. Like, I'm, Still, it's a pain in the ass to go to Cambridge anyway. Oh, I don't. That would be, right. That, that would be the exception to the rule. But I think that also makes the, the journey a little Are there more any fun. great independent theaters in New Hampshire? There's a couple. There's the Music Hall in Portsmouth that will uh, play... Uh, kind of random movies once movie in a while. There's a theater that... Uh, a there's little a little Red River in Concord. Okay, there's also a random one. Jesus, I'll, I'll let you know when I remember it. And there's yeah. drive-ins too in the summer. So like they play classic movies all the time. So I think it is achievable. You're not going to see the same movie twice. No. Okay. Absolutely not. All right. So you hear that, Dave? I did. 
Okay. Are you, do you feel more confident now? I feel confident in his ability. I don't love the production schedule at all. No, oh, let me hear about this. I'm well, curious. I just think like if you see the movie, record it, get it out. I think people would. Oh, like I go. I agree. I agree with you a thousand percent. No, yeah. I, I, I have to be honest. I feel like this is not a real accomplishment now. <laughs> it would be. Like, it would be like if Cal Ripken said. I take Tuesdays and Fridays off. No, it's like, you know, it's kind of no, like, but like the streak that. is alive. The streak that, is alive. I'm not that, taking any days off. Mm. You don't want any questions. If doing a project like this, you don't want any questions. Put it this way. Would Kirk Minahan do it that way? No, definitely not. No yeah, chance. You don't need to worry about an audience though, Kirk. I don't worry about this audience. That's what I'm saying. I'm well, doing I, this. I don't have a Twitter account. I'm not promoting it all. I don't I care. understand. <laughs> it's a different perspective than I have to have. If I'm Why? Doing this. Well, because if I, if I want to have, if I want to have advertisers and things like that, you have to. No, you have somebody sponsor the show in total. You I don't agree. Worry about, that you sounds should, great, Kurt. You should, have no, you should have no reads during the <laughs> show. I don't the, have taser companies lining up around my door. You should have no reads during the show. Uh, the no. show should be sponsored by, boom. That sounds great. If someone wants to. Well, I mean, how up, much? I mean, are you just looking to cover your nut? Yeah, say someone gave me two grand a month, they can sponsor the show. How about if, so how about if they just match your budget? Yeah. So if it was for nothing. You just no, no. That's a point. Yeah, what if you just submit no, expenses to that sponsor? Right. What if they said for for, ten, uh, for, for exclusivity? We'll get you ten grand that's yours. It's ours. No. Okay. Well, that's your, your it's your business, man. I, yeah, I respect that. I'm just trying to, so if but if for twenty grand you would do it. Twenty five. So you do it for twenty. No, I do. For okay, five. so somebody calls you right now for you twenty grand for exclusivity. So that's yeah. the max I'll you make. You would say no. no. But for twenty five you would. Yeah. For twenty three you wouldn't. 24, then we're talking two see grand there, a month. See, there, there we go. Right. So you do it for $2,000 a month. You can have that podcast. It, who knows? It could be a gold mine. Yeah. If someone gave me two grand a month, then yeah. Is there any, the biggest concern for everybody, is there any Carano involvement in this? <laughs> There's no, no there, he's going to help me set up like the equipment. Okay. And, and get me started. But no, I'm not having him as a guest. Oh, I'm going to have guests on too. If so people like, go to the movies with you. I said no, this. No, no, no. They won't go to the movies. Oh, I thought that was a good idea. Oh, no, it's not a bad idea. But like, let's say you see. What are you shaking your head at? Yes, they got to go to the movie. All right, I don't all even right. understand. Yeah, like, what, I guess what are we how? doing here? Uh, yeah. Right. So let's say you see Spider-Man with Harry when it comes out. I'm, I'm going sure to. We're going right. to see it. I, I hate to say this. Well, should I say it, Dave? You got to say it. Take him out of school an hour early that day. He's Ooh, claiming he's sick. Oh, that's a great experience. Have you done that with him before? Yes. Okay. So dad, th- that's a big I, thing. I think it's selfishly on my own. I'm like, one day I'm going to be an old man. I'm going to be staring up at the ceiling. And, you know, it's a great experience. It's like one child. Childhood memory, I remember. I remember taking out of school for that. That's the one you remember, Dave? That's like it. That's it. Really? Yep. For what? Wayne's World. I thought you were like a doctor's appointment or something. No. Nope. <laughs> Wayne's World. Who took uh, Big Jack? No, actually, like a family friend did it. Like a, oh. like an uncle type guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That sounds, yeah? Like, yeah, it could have been strange. But I, don't know. <laughs> I, I remember it for a bathroom blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it was a reach around him. Pay for your popcorn. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, okay, so, 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 you go see, so you go see Spider-Man. Oh, you see it, like, say, in, you know, middle of February. Sure. Then hopefully you remember the movie enough. You, you would. Your memory is good enough. And you come on and we talk about Spider-Man. See, I think you should, they should go with you. I don't know if that's like always logistically possible. Plus, why not? If you play, we don't live. You want to go see a movie with me, Kirk? No, I don't. Exactly. I would but if you want to, right? So. Yeah, but others would. Dave would. Absolutely would. Matt would. Sure. Uh, I'm sure Matt would. Sure, I, I don't know. Like, it just seems. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, if I, someone I, wants to see the movie with me, that'd be even better. I applaud the ambition. I applaud the ambition. I don't think. I don't think you're going to make it. I just it, not your own fault. I just think there's too many variables. There's a lot of variables. But if you can get to. March 15th, you're good. Yeah, those first 90 days are both easiest and hardest. Yes. Because there's the most movies to pick from, but oh, then the yeah, weather yeah. element. Yeah, I mean, from, I mean from the weather Right, but that's, the, yeah, that's, yeah. that's the, the push and pull there. Well, how about, you know, is there any, do you have any trips planned? Uh, like to, like oh, so uh, we're going to, for the Wilbur weekend, we're going to be in Boston. Uh, that's easy. Okay, Right, that's and good. in fact, there's a theater right near the Wilbur, and then, uh, you know, there's other, obviously, theaters around Boston. Um, no, we haven't really talked a ton. We might oh, go Boston to Arizona. Can you imagine? Imagine if she wants to go on vacation for a week to somewhere nice, and he's going to go see a well, she'll go to the spa or whatever. I'll go yeah, see a movie. Like, I'll she's see like, Mad like, oh, just yeah, she's, like, she's like, yeah, hey, I, you know, we're going to Greece. We have a trip to go to the islands. And Chris is like, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Why? Because I have to go to the movies. <laughs> going to go see Sing 2. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Is she supportive of this? Oh, yeah. She thinks it's funny. I don't understand. He hasn't caved to any of the uh, criticism, which I don't like. I thought well, I, 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 don't, I don't look at it. Like I said, I'll support it. We'll always talk about it. I don't think of it. Not doing it every day, I think, is just, it's just weak shit. I just think the I number. Just, if, okay, if someone, I, but, but I understand. Pers- if, if I understand business wise where you're coming from. I get if it that. was this, if someone gave, if someone, wait, if someone said, hey, I'll give you two grand a month to do this, and then at that point, advertising doesn't matter, I'll do it every day. Right. Because you can bring the roadcaster with you wherever you go. Well, I know, but so in your mind, so if you're doing it every other day, okay, so let's just say it's Wednesday, it's the whatever, 22nd day. You go see a movie that day. 
I don't understand. You guys know better than me. How hard is it then just to do eight minutes talking about it and sending it out to the world? It shouldn't be that hard. It's not it? hard. I've never done. That's the thing. Not it's hard. like this is my first time doing. That's. I'm so much more nervous about the producing. You part do of all it. the Quantum Week stuff like with Matt physically. Yeah. Oh, so you don't do it from a house or no. anything? Okay. Because I, I, I don't Matt know. lives like 10 minutes from me, so we, I just drive over. I actually love the idea of like l- putting a lav mic on him and him talking as he's driving, doing the first part oh, you of love the this. show. You mentioned this yesterday. Yeah, then it's off, and then he c- turns it back on, and all he has to do is... It sounds like lousy quick. content. I had enough time to think about it. It's half-assed, though, to me. Like okay. He's just kind of yapping in more documentary style. But. Are you going to be breaking down? You know, I, and I, You seem to me to be a soda and candy popcorn guy every time you go. Uh, I like popcorn. I think I, I can see myself getting burned down on it. Some of these cards give you discounts. Like the, I'm going to have the AMC card and the Regal card. How much is that a month, AMC? I think it's a 25 and, and it gives see, you three and, movies a week. And you can see anything, even... And it, they, okay. they have, they give you, but Regal... So I, I, go see Sp- I go see Spider-Man then? In IMAX, I think, as oh, long wow. as you reserve okay. it in time. Okay. Huh. All right. At a theater near me starts, uh, kicks off the new year on New Year's Day, <laughs> January 3rd, 2022. <laughs> Which is such a mistake. No, but like, what if I see a really late movie? How would I get it? You know what I mean? Then it wouldn't... Don't see a really late movie. This well, is not I might have to, Kirk. Why? Well, I might, because of show times and shit. Like, On I have... January 1st? January 1st, I'd probably be okay. What the fuck but, are you talking about? But if it's every if it's every day, then eventually I'm going to run into a situation where I'm seeing movies potentially very late at night. I won't get home till the next day. What about matinees? Ideally, every movie's a matinee, but it's not. No, I have... but this is a, but this is a, this is a grind. This is, spo- this is advertised to me as a grind. It, it is should a grind. be difficult. It shouldn't be, I, hey, I saw a, a, a nine o'clock movie. Well, you'll get it the next day at 4.30 in the afternoon. Well, there were people are like, well, that's fucking easy. It's not easy at all. Of that's course. very hard. Uh, we're, Dave, uh, no? Um, I think it's kind of easy to pull off, right? What's the, uh, yeah, yeah. Other than, other than pacing of. yourself, what's the last thing you've done every day, Dave? Uh, every single, what do you mean? I wake up and I come to work every single day. You don't day come to work do every job. day, you well, moron. You're not, every day. you're not coming here every day. If I, could, if I wanted to come here every day, I could come here every day. Speaking of that's pissing, why you no don't. Reference. What, I, what am I going to say to that? I could, but well, I, I don't him. I, I, have, I have all my technology at home as well, so why would I come into a studio every day? But, but I'm saying you don't do everything every day. If we did, well, every well, day. But, yeah, if but, we did but, this Monday through Friday, I'd be here every day. But where you're wrong is he's not he's not advertising some podcast where he's doing that. But he said it you was are. easy. But he said it was easy. I was... Well, I mean, you know, I hate to say it. Like, it's, you know, climbing oh, a, a fucking break. Mount Everest. I mean, you're, you're going to see a movie and talking about it. Yes. You love doing that. I do, yes. So, but that's good. That's why it'll work. I agree. So, some weeks you'll get this three days a week. Some four. <laughs> right, but I'm just, uh, I think you're going to regret that. I'm just telling you that. Again, what do I know? But I'm just saying. I, you know what? No. no, I respect his creative spirit, though, because I was thinking more documentary style, and he's saying he's going to put more thought into well, it. He's going to be that. Yeah, takes, so that's fair. Yeah. 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 I mean, sometimes I might not get home to like 1 a.m., which, you know, is that the best well, show? I mean, it might, it might be what, interesting, what, but also you, might what, be. Why are you seeing the movie at 10? Because if there's no movie that just plays at 10. Sometimes there are. Like what? Like second run. Like when it's at the end of its run. It only has one show time at night or something. That happens. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what doesn't happen anymore, which sucks? The morning matinees. Remember like these yeah, movies no like 1040 well, and stuff? There's no money for that anymore. That sucks. Sh- uh, showcase you all the time. I you know. Been, yeah. And the late ones they don't do anymore. They used to do midnight. I know. Yeah. That's another thing. I'm like, fuck. We're seeing Castaway at midnight. Saving Private Ryan at midnight. The first only Tom Hanks movies out. at midnight. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, but, but like, but, I mean, I couldn't do that. You could, though, because you're up all the time. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Do you think he'll, you think he'll do it, Dave? Do you think he'll make it? Uh, he, he'll come close. I don't think he will. I think something will come up, but he'll put a good shot. Like, we'll be, we'll be proud of him. Let's put it that way. Oh, we'll be great. proud of him. Yeah. I mean, his, effort, his effort level. Of course, like, the problem is, like, you know, if they shut everything down again. And then it's just over. Yeah, I mean, if they shut everything down. You I can't mean, do the thing where you come back like, hey, we're doing this again. Once it's no, over, it's No, no, I think I would just do streaming stuff, I guess. If they shut everything down. Well, that does, he can't do that. Well, what else? I mean. Then it's over. But, but I'll be bored. I have nothing else to do anyway. If everything's shut down. Uh, you can't be the guy who goes to see a movie every day in the theater and does streaming. Yeah, but well, if, I would if, always, if, no if option, everything is shut well, I know, down. But, but at that point then, that's kind of like, well, that's well, it's not something really to that. do. Then, then it would just make me less bored. I guess. Yeah. But then becomes, I don't think we're going to, that's not going to happen though. Probably not New Hampshire. New Hampshire's already said, like, we're not shutting shit down. Right. Uh, yeah. And here. our cases are through the roof right now. Same here. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway. All right. <clears throat> so there you go. Uh, go go subscribe to that, please. Uh, what else is going on? I'll here? tell you this. Smart play with getting the booster shot days earlier, because that thing sucks. Sucks. Why well, don't feel good today? I feel, this is, what did I get? Two days in a row? Yeah. I just feel like I ran like a marathon. Like all my muscles are achy. Like sucks. The second shot to me was is the worst one. Yeah. That was my experience. I think yeah. this is like the same feel. Did you get yeah. the booster? 
I'm not going to comment on that. All right. I'm not here to talk about my my own COVID stuff. I won't Sorry, Mark McGuire. I won't do it anymore. <laughs> I, didn't realize. Yeah, I won't do it anymore. I saw there was some. You texted me about the about the Wilbur thing, about the COVID stuff, or the, yes. the booster stuff. Yes. Or no, I'm sorry, vaccination status. Yes. So we, what is the policy? So it's uh, just the only thing that matters is mask indoors. Not gonna. You don't have to pro- show a negative test. You don't have to prove. I won't mind seeing the negative test for these people. Well, it's all up to you. All right, it's up we'll to think, the act. We'll think yeah. about it. We'll think yeah. about it. I mean, I don't want these lunatic right wing idiots. You know, <laughs> fucking Jerry sends me a text last night. He's like, this guy body bag KFC. <laughs> I was gonna say. Like, he retweeted why, you twice. brought up something that Kevin talks about. Like, congratulations. I was like, again, like, you know, now Jerry's acting like Rittenhouse is a great guy. I'll just ask the extreme right this question. This is all I'll ask. I know. It, let's just say it wasn't Kyle Rittenhouse who did that, okay? Let's just say it was a rapper who did what Rittenhouse did. Do you think they would have their arms around him as much? Probably not. <laughs> the answer is definitely not. Definitely not. They're acting like this kid's a hero. I, I don't think he should be in jail, but he's also an asshole. Like, why can't both be true? Because now it's politics is a team sport. Right. I mean, I mean, they always were. I mean, let's be honest. Like if Twitter wasn't this bad in the nineties. Sure. But do you think if Twitter was around during the Vietnam war that there may be, or how about if Twitter was around, I don't know, in the 1860s, do you think there might be some, some stupid shit going on? Yeah. It's the same. It's always the same. Twitter was around during, uh, Ken Starr. So it's the the Iraq war. Is it social media that's driving the, of course. Yeah. I I agree with that. That's all it is. If, If it was around during Lewinsky or. Iraq War right. or Watergate or Vietnam or uh, when Martin Luther King was killed. If Martin Luther King was killed, you would have had some idiot blue check mark right winger tweet something stupid and that guy would have got canceled. Oh, yeah. Like, number. How, I would have a number right, of times. That's how it works. So, like, you know, it's no different now, but now it's just, but I do think Trump, you're right, like sort of accelerated everything to a point now where it's like. The tipping point for me was Bush Gore. On Twitter? Oh, no, on uh, the, so, the oh, right. the so nation, imagine, the so country. imagine, right. So imagine that on Twitter. Exact, great right. point. Imagine that, that, on that was when things really started getting divided. My, and then I think Fox News plays a role. Uh, well, sure, but so does CNN. So does right, but Fox News was first, I guess. They, yeah, they were the first to say, "Look, here's our, you know, we believe this." They're the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it worked. But, but I'd rather it out in the open than not. Like CNN won't admit that they're as liberal as they are. Isn't Fox News' slogan "Fair and Balanced"? Fair, yeah, yeah, but you know. like. Everybody knows, like, yeah, but that's not because Fox News is saying it. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's like you know what I'm saying. Like, it's it's not hidden by any stretch well, of true. imagination. But but anyway, long way of saying I I don't know. I mean, whatever. I, if people want to go to the show, great. By the way, if you don't want to go to the show with the Wilbur, uh, it's fine if you don't go either. I don't care if you're there or not. I really do. I hope the Patriots are playing that night and all of you watch the game. If I'm being perfectly honest, I have to do it because I'm because I'm making the Barstool make a lot of money off it, and so am I. So go, don't go. I'm going to put on a great show. Irrelevant to me if people go or not. Okay. I'd be fine looking at an empty audience. And just do the show. I don't day. think you're going to be looking at an empty audience. I don't know. Two shows that sold out in what? A combined nine minutes? Is Long that time ago, was? though. Yeah. yeah. People, well, people's cha- people move on, which is perfectly fine, too. Yeah. We're going to have a good... It'll be a great show. I will say that. Yeah. The only no. thing I, I would say about, by the way, just going back to the Rittenhouse thing, that interview was fucking insane. Of that course. He did. He's an idiot. It was insane. He's also 18 years old. He's 18, but th- those guys were assholes. So yeah, it's of like, course. He, you could be like... I, I, I don't want to have the conversation with Jerry. It's like, you can, he's in this, he should not have gone to jail for this. But, and I understand the one guy was a pet, whatever, but like, I'd like a little bit of like regret that you killed people. Yes. Just a little bit. You don't have to go on and talk about fucking people and shooting people. Like, I don't, I don't think that's the way to go either. It doesn't, it's not going to help in the long run. If I mean, a rapper did it and then went on the breakfast club with Charlemagne the God at just having a grand old time, they'd be like, what the fuck Correct. is that guy doing? Correct. Yeah. And that's, that's all I'm saying. That doesn't mean that they're racist either. I'm just saying that's, that's the way it is. We know that. So I don't know. What else is going on? Uh, do you see those articles I sent you about Portnoy this morning? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, that's yeah. inevitable. I mean, yeah. I, well, the casino one is stupid. Like that doesn't really mean anything. I, I, are they trying to get Regulators looking for more information on Dave Portnoy's two arrests, right, one arrested. of which he showed up at the NFL headquarters in New York, and the other he's being dragged out because he doesn't have media yeah. credentials. Yeah, it's just dumb. And the other one, the Michigan, is the, that they're, because Central Michigan's in the game, is that yeah. it? And they're yeah. trying to get them to not go? Uh, the stu- Like the student senate is causing a hissy Whatever. fit about I, it, yeah. I, 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 d- d- Take a look at other bowls who are, these things are run by, and corporations and what they do. Yeah. That's what I would say, like yeah. whatever. I, I, I think it'll be a good time. It's funny that they're so, like these other bowls are, all, it's just going to be bizarre to watch Frank the Tank do the coin flip and it's on streaming and yeah. all this shit. It's funny. To me, it's funny. Though I, mean, I will say this, the fact that it's not on actual television takes, because you see that shit every day from Barstool. If you're a Barstool fan, right, you see Frank the Tank doing right. something stupid. Oh yeah, the normal. And if it was on like a, like a network television station right. or something like that and seeing Frank the Tank do that, it'd be like crazy. I'm very surprised that they yeah. didn't partner. I understand they're trying to be a little bit. But, I mean, there is something to tradi- traditional 
ball watching on television. Yeah. I heard Dave say on this podcast that they, so now, um, is it Jake Marsh? Is that his name? Yes. He's doing play by play. They were very close to having Brent Musburger do it. Oh, he, he does the Raiders games. Yes. It would have been, he must be in his eighties now. Oh, he's so old. It was yeah. going to be Brent Musburger, Dave Portnoy, and Dan Katz doing a bowl game, which yeah. would have been, been great. Mind blowing. And what's the, what's the deal with Musburger? He's had a couple of viral moments, like looking at girls or something like that. Well, he like had the that. thing with, um, Jesus, who was this? This is years ago. AJ McCarron's Oh, girlfriend? the girlfriend, yes. Yes, that that's right. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which was not, I mean, not, nowadays it would be an even bigger deal, but yeah. The Musburger when I was a kid was one of the two or three biggest announcers there was. I mean, There were times, a couple of times he filled in for Red Sox games, like in April. Um, Red Musburger? Yeah. Like recently? No, 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 early 90s. On TV? Yes. For who? For, I remember for, it being, uh, I remember being really for excited. For Sean McDonough? Uh, it would have been McDonough. It would have been McDonough, right? Uh, it was, uh, was McDonough doing national stuff? And, uh, you I think so. Because McDonough does both local and I think it might have been when he broadcast. was doing CBS stuff. Remember? When he covered the World oh, Series yeah, and stuff? Yeah, it might have been there. Uh, McCarver. But he filled in. I remember thinking it was like an it was event. Like, holy shit, Musburger is doing a local it's game. Bizarre. It's yeah. a weird connection. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I didn't, put, I didn't put much stock in those stories. Yeah. Whatever. I yeah. mean, you know, it's fine. Uh, what else? And your, uh, do you see Tiger Woods announces his official comeback? Yes. Uh, I would. Th- that's not an official comeback. It's well, a, that tournament's as real as my mini golf. Yeah, but it's a, it's a, you know, he's being paid to play golf again. Maybe he's playing a father son, you know, event. Yeah, but it's gonna be televised. Like it's a sure. real deal. Yeah, I don't know how yeah. much he'll. I'll be curious because the truth is, he doesn't even need to hit any tee shots. Uh, like you know, like on par fours because his son is so far up and his son True. hits it like two hundred yards. True. So if a hole's like where he hits it from, the par four is like two eighty. Charlie Woods, Tiger's like 440 or yep. 420. So I don't know. I, I'd be curious how much he actually plays. And is he going to ride a cart around? He's riding a cart. Yeah, he is that's riding they, a cart. That's what I yep. heard, yeah. He's yep. going to ride a cart. Um, Hopefully not drive it. That's true. Well, that's the other thing. Like, look, like this guy is so lucky. People are like, he's lucky he's alive. That's true. He's lucky he's not in jail because he could have fucking killed somebody driving around like that. So what ha- Like, what do we know? I will speculate and only speculate. Uh, he did an interview the weekend before uh, at Riviera. And his speech was slurring. He was all fucked up. Yeah. He seemed all fucked up. And he passed out at what, 9 a.m.? Is that when he crashed his car? It sounds about right. It was in the morning. Yeah. It was in the morning. He did not hit the brakes at all. Uh, and just, you know, he was, I mean, he's lucky he's not dead. He's lucky he lose his leg. But he's also lucky he didn't fucking run over somebody or hit another car and kill them. I mean, he could very well be in jail. He's got a real, I think he has real, my guess is without knowing, he's got real, because he had so many surgeries, he has real pain addiction. Yeah. You know, like when he got busted that second time, he wasn't even drinking. That, that video. Remember, right. he was all on fucking painkillers. So I don't know if he's still battling. He's had 5 million knee surgeries, back surgeries, now the leg. Again, he's had shoulder stuff. He's had all kinds of stuff. So I don't know. But I'll say this. I'll watch it next weekend yep. for sure. Yep. We'll Those stuff are, that's always fun to watch anyway. So that's a good tournament for him to come back to. I guess. Yeah. I, don't, yeah, I just don't think he's, you know, he's been buried so many times. I don't know. But I think it's, it is over. He even said as much last week. Yeah. In this tournament, which he didn't play in over there in uh, the Bahamas, that he's, his days of being an elite player are done. He'll yeah. pick and choose some tournaments going forward. He's old. I mean, he's going to be 46 in a few weeks, I think. Yeah. So, I golf, mean, you know. Golf without Tiger Woods, it's crazy to think about. Yeah, but we've had enough, you know, the last few years on and off. We've seen a lot he's of it. played less than, I mean, he hasn't played more than he's played. Yeah. I mean, it, it'll be different. It'll be, it'll go down a notch in terms of relevance, but it'll still have its loyal audience. Guys like me will watch it. But yeah, yeah, it's going to be yeah. strange to watch. I think he'll play in the, ma- I don't know if he'll play in the Masters this April, but he'll play in the Masters going forward and like two or three other tournaments and that'll be it. But yeah. Yeah. But yes, uh, and this kid looks like he's going to be pretty good. How old is this kid? Probably 13 or 14 now. So like think. real amateur tournaments probably starting pretty soon. Yeah, he's already played a few smaller ones. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, that's a tough, that's tough. Well, that would not be my advice to Tiger Woods kid to play professional golf. You know, I would do something else probably. That's a tough act to follow. Yeah, Nicholas's think kid tried to do it. Didn't work. Gordy House kid. It just like doesn't, very rarely does it work. Yeah. I mean, like a major superstar. The, like, the worst mean, case is that Ted Williams' son. Yeah, Ted Williams, that didn't work out well either. No. True. Right. Remember they tried to play in spring training that year? No, they they had him in the minors. Yeah, that's right. He was like 32 years old. It was so bizarre. He batted like 148. <laughs> that was so weird. That was one of the strangest things. Very that, strange. There should be a there should be a documentary on that. On, they should be one on on John Henry Williams' life. It's the most bizarre. He's dead, right? Oh yeah, he died yeah. like two years after his dad. Did the other sister die? Claudia? No, she's still alive. I think she wrote a book. Um, she was a little, seemed a little quirky. Yeah, yeah. She seemed a little. His head is still in Arizona. Both of theirs. Oh, so, that's right. That's right. That's right. You know, that's as right. much as, you know. Was it Hitter.net? Hitter.net. Yeah, the yeah, the yeah. All-Star game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, No, they're in Alcor in, in Arizona. Their heads are both frozen together. That feels like, a, it feels like a podcast series somebody should have done by now. 
I would think so. Don't you I, think? I yeah. know when that all happened, people like investigators went and they like pretended to like be interested. I remember this, yeah. And they saw like reeking vats. Yeah, it was, it was a like mess, yeah. it was some uh, some of you know supposed to be cooled. Obviously, some of the air conditioning broke. Right. You're like, oh god. And they took. I mean, essentially, it seems like they just took advantage of Ted Williams' late life. Oh yeah. Like he was like really diminished mentally and just had signed his life away, right? Because remember well, they had the signed piece of paper. They signed the like, Alcor thing and it had like yeah. uh, oil stains yeah, on it and everything. All over. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's fucking It's depressing. a wild story. And it's never really that and Reggie Lewis. So the two that have never really I've tried been. on Reggie Lewis a bunch of times. I was gonna write a book on it years ago with Rob Bradford. Really? We were gonna write a book about Len Bias and Reggie Lewis. We we're gonna call it Death of a Dynasty. Oh. Yeah. And we just wound up puttering and didn't make it through. And then the Sullocks said got good again. And then it was kind of like, uh, now it feels like it could be done. Because I believe Reggie Lewis and Len Bias played against each other in college. I think Maryland played Northeastern one year. No, really? Like in a preseason game. Like, 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 like oh, randomly. Reggie Lewis is so much older, though. No, it's oh, back no, no, back no, back no, no, you're right. Back of course. Back I'm sorry. I'm thinking they're deaths. Yeah, you're absolutely yeah. right. Oh, 86 yeah. So they did. 86 and 87. Yes. So if I, 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 or something else where was, and we were going to tell the story like through that, like game, okay. backstory, game, back, I think that was what we were doing. I mean, when we talked to a bunch of people, we talked to Gilbert Mudge. The, uh, of course. Doctor, the doctor that, to, that gave him the green light. He said, yo, you'll be fine. Yeah, we talked to Jan Volk. We talked... Was Mudge regretful? He was like, very quiet. Like, he was very... It was weird. He was very... It was on the phone. He was very strange. Um, we couldn't get, didn't get in touch with Donna Harris Lewis. She didn't want to talk. Uh, but we interviewed... So that was nobody. Like, I was, you know... Uh, probably 20 people. And then Rob was like, I'm going to go write a Mike Lowell book instead or something. Oh, it's no. Easier. It's easier. <laughs> I'm like, I don't blame you. It's easier. But that's always been in my head. Yeah. You had this dream team of doctors that said you can never play basketball again. And then yeah, this one guy, guy named Mudge said right. you can play and yeah. he's dead in and like they three just, months. And they just wanted him. We talked to Jack McMullen. We talked to Ryan because uh, Rob knew them a little bit. And it was just, it was, it's an interesting, the Reggie Lewis story is interesting because I mean, I think, you know, I, I, I think he used drugs. So I don't, you know, I don't know. Um, he had a very weird thing in college too. He's at Northeastern. Uh, he claimed he hurt his hand, burned his hand on a fry later, which a lot of people don't believe. Um, but then you talk to people like who are like, no, he he would never have used drugs. So I don't I don't really know. I will say this: he would have definitely been a Hall of Famer. He would De- a Hall of Famer oh, for sure. Well, I mean, the NBA Hall of Fame, fucking oh, Dino Rush, yeah, but uh, gets it. But he was a really really good player. He was a, he was a very good player. I, I don't. I, he, he reminded me a lot of, offensively. He's not as good, but if you watch him, he reminded me a lot given his height. His build, the way he kind of took weird shots, he reminded me of Durant in a way, not as good, but the similar offensive player. He used, they used to play play Indiana in the playoffs a couple of years back to back in the early nineties. Yeah. He was so much better than Reggie Miller that it wasn't even close as an all around player. We wa- I was watching the game when he fell. I was there. The you were there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah. It looked like it was so weird. He uh, watching on TV because you know the camera kept panning. It looked like he almost just like he staggered, but then he collapses. Yeah, and then that was it. Then he never played again. He then he they lost that series to Charlotte. He was actually right. playing great in that it's the game. same uh, series that ended McHale's career. Right. Yeah. The morning hit the shot to end the series. Uh, but then he never played again. Ever. He died that summer. He was right. shooting hoops and they told him not to play. And the Celtics were like, we, you should not be playing. But then, you know, it was a very weird story. But yeah, that, that's true. That is a good one. That is a good one. What else, Dave? Uh, you know, it's just random. Just talking about the Ted Williams thing. Mm-hmm. If you go to MLB.com right now, yeah. There's only stories about like Hall of Fame. Or no, I know, of, no, I know, but yeah. isn't that? I didn't even think of that. They like, can't they can't use the players' name? Right, an entire website is like well, go to MLB Network useless. right now at TV. Yeah. It's all games from like 1962. Isn't that just kind of wild? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, but that's how it works. Right? A fuck you, yeah. too. Yeah, but I don't think they can. So though. did I, they have to take? I out, thought it was a fuck you. I, did, uh, I, I uh, didn't know it was a licensing. I thought it was a licensing issue because they did that last time too. I think. There hasn't been one. I mean, there was like a, but there was a thing for like, a couple of days a few years ago where it looked like it was going to be. And I remember they, yeah. there was a whole story because somebody took a whole bunch of pictures of how things were. What are the NHL and NBA? Because they've had more recent lockouts in yeah, the I internet age. I don't know that. Yeah. I don't know that. But so did I mean, they have to like take off all the pictures that would have been like players' pictures, everything? Yeah, I yeah, think so. How did. much work would have Remember, been? MLB, like the union is not, it's not like the NFL. The MLB union is had, has had the owners by the balls for except for the last two CPAs. Well, that's so. true. But I'm now, now they're angry. I was saying historically, yes, like, it's always been just a war. Yeah, it's actually even if you go to, I was just thinking if you went to like RedSox.com, yeah, you, you don't even have headshots of the players. Good. It's hopefully, awful. They, hopefully they never come back. That's just wild. Crossed. Oh no, I mean, no, we're good. We don't need baseball. No, we do. Set, no. He still has to come back. Football and golf, we're good. Oh, um, <clears throat> so I was going to mention about that. By the way, that will be resolved by February. By the way, 
Is that right? Yeah. So your sources are telling you? Eh, I mean, just look at that. There's no major key issue. Usually uh, these uh, strikes and lockouts uh, go on for a long time because there's one key issue, like 94 with salary cap. Right. There's not what It's just negotiating a bunch of small issues. Yeah, they'll get it done. I think Great. they will. Fantastic. It's Thank just kind of crazy that there was like a free agent frenzy going on and then all of a sudden well, that's why, stops Dave. on a dime. That's why it was no, a crazy No, I know, break. but it's just, it's just weird. Now you go to a website and you're reading articles about Hank fucking Aaron or something. What's wrong with him? I don't sure, know sure what I'm saying. It's just random. I lived a full life. Yeah, he did. What are you going to do? Jesus. Yeah. I met him once. He was did in a you? wheelchair. Jerry was all excited. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. St. Louis, yeah. Jerry's like, that's the home run champ or something. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it is. You're right, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say baseball related? The, uh, how many ballots are people... Have you seen any of these yeah. ballots yet? Yeah. Because uh, then there's Ortiz, that guy Ortiz, I'm telling you right now, Ortiz will not get in this year. What's his percentage right now? It was like uh, a little over 50 last time. Only like 12 ballots in or something. But still, like, you can see there's real hesitancy. Yeah, it's already enough of a trend. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. I'm happy about that. Anybody going to get in? <laughs> well, they have everyone apparently in their veterans committee is getting in. It's like six people yeah, getting in. I saw that. Uh, I, that I, have a, I have an issue with that. I, I don't I, think anyone I, gets in this year. Right I love there. the Hall of Fame. But now the Baseball Hall of Fame with this uh, the, this committee, well, they're, they're just like every other sport I mean, now. Come on. Jim Cott's in the fucking Hall of Fame? Like, what, Tony Oliva? Yeah, what he didn't even have 2,000 hits. We could do the whole thing now. If Jim Cott gets in, then Tommy John should be in. If Tommy John should be in, then Andy Pettit should be in. And then all of a sudden, fucking Bronson Royals in the Hall of Fame. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm, I'm fine. You. Like, Buck O'Neill, totally get yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Minnie Minoso, totally get uh, it. He would, no, if you look at his numbers, like the age that he started, if he yeah. played a full career, he would have been in the Hall all of right. Fame. So I'm, I'm, uh, I, there should be representation I'm, for I'm, that. I'm, I'm, but my point is they should be, I, I'm fine over-representing them because they got fucked over sure. for a decade. So no Absolutely. problem. But I don't need fucking uh, uh, whoever. Gil Hodges in the fucking Hall of Fame. No, Gil Hodges should be in. No, you're saying because he won the World Series of the Mets. Well, I think if you combine the manager and the player, no, then he's he enough. Be. If it was just one the other, then no. Be in. Dick Allen should be in 50 times. Dick Allen should be in too. Before Gil Hodges, um, for sure. Well, let's talk about Tony Oliva, though, if you're going to go that direction. Well, fine, whatever. My point is now it's just like everywhere else. You're just like, oh, yeah, that's right. Alan Trammell's in. Jack Morris is in. Fucking who? Yeah. Like, all right, well, you know, I, I, whatever. Anyway, long way of saying. What else, Colin? Uh, do you see the sports media personalities of the year announced yesterday? Let's pretend I didn't for argument's sake. <laughs> the sports did media. Did I win? You did, you did not. No. Oh, fucking now, never luckily, win these. I never, I've never won anything. Luckily, the family is represented. Part of my Take One Best Sports podcast, of course. By who? Who uh, gave this away? It's the big lead. It's the big lead. They, they're, they're the best sport. It's with the that, sports media people. PFT's brother, even? Uh, yeah. Is that Hellion? Uh, he's not included. On no, we should get him on. You want to reach out to him? Yes, yes. yes. I you don't think, want to reach out to him. But you yeah. think he would talk about his hatred for Dave Portnoy? He's public about it on social media. Why wouldn't he? All right. We'll do, you know. I'll reach out to him. All right, sure. So go ahead. Uh, sports media. Let me see if I can guess. Who All do right. you think the sports media personality of the year is? Big lead is woke. Uh, well, he gave it to, to, to a Barstool podcast for best sports podcast. There you go. I wouldn't say there. Sports media pod person. It's not Dave. I will say you will not know one moment of this person. You won't have any moment. But I know the person reference. is. Yes. I know. You know what everybody loves? He's a board of me. Scott Van Pelt. No. Nope. Oh, that's a good, that's a good guess. That is incorrect. Made headlines over the last year. Male or female? Female. Oh, uh, uh, what the fuck? Not um, oh, Maria Taylor. Maria Taylor. Yeah, that's yeah, is the yeah. sports media person. I mean, who could forget the thing that time she said that thing? Who could <laughs> forget? She didn't even say it. It was said about her. That's true. <laughs> when did she even who could, start? Who could forget the time that she went off the record, and gave all kinds of shit to the New York Times, right. to bury <laughs> Rachel Nichols. I would think that you would give who are the, the runners award? up. Uh, runners up were Dan Levitard, <laughs> okay. uh, Stephen A. Smith. Yep. Sure, and, I'm okay and, with that. And your personal favorite, Mike Greenberg. Oh, very talented. What did he do this year? <laughs> Boring. Like, uh, I mean, get up is, you know. Is that still on? Up. Yeah, it's still Okay, on. all right. Yeah, Good. Yeah. For, so what did, they say, what did they say about Maria Taylor? Uh, Maria Taylor had quite a year. She was thrust to the center of two enormous sports media stories. She, she thrust herself in the middle of those two stories, but she, okay. She handled both with poise and grace, <laughs> dis, <laughs> despite all the noise around her. Uh -huh. Mark felt right that? Oh, shit, Jesus. Uh, yep, so they just referenced that. I don't. They don't have any other story of, like, any reference of any sports media, like actual sports situation. Any other awards given out? Uh, sure, yeah. Best game analyst, Jeff Van Gundy. Okay, he's uh, fine. Kirk Herbstreet was an honorable mention there. Okay, seems racist. Joe Buck <laughs> is the best play-by-play -play guy. All right, whatever. He's you don't fine. like that? He's fine. He's I, good. He's, he's, uh, he tries too hard to be liked by... People like part of my take though. Like, I don't like, think he, he waves he tries, his arms. Tries to be witty and well, he had the yeah. HBO show, of yeah, course. That was just, terrible. That's yeah. true. He I, tries. He wants to be liked by you know what I mean. Like he thinks everything's a thing. I, I don't. I don't like him. That's true. I don't think you like this person. But newcomer of the year, Akib Talib. 
Yeah, he's terrible. You didn't like that, right? Didn't we talk about that he's before? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. This one is just absolutely Let's in, see if I can guess this. Go insane. Ahead. What is it? All right. Most versatile sports media member. Insane. <sighs> I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what it means, but. Plug him anywhere. Gus Johnson. That is incorrect. Chris, any guess? Uh, Kevin Harlan. Too nope. old for this award, I'm sure. Nope, it would be Mina Kimes <laughs> is the most versatile yes. sports media What else does she do? What does she do? Uh, she hosts, let's see, she was on Highly Questionable, does a little NFL Live around the horn every now and then. Did she just talk about the NFL? Uh, yeah, I guess she's on the, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only thing I remember from her from the past year was when uh, Adam Schefter like played an April Fool's joke on her. Do you remember that? I do not remember yeah, that. It went viral. That's all I remember. Yeah, I don't care about yeah. her. She's uh, she's the one with the dog that we make fun of? I think so. Yes. Okay. And she's the one Dave hates now, right? Oh, yeah. He's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, some yeah. weird reason. But Very yeah. versatile. Well, well, she was going after him when the business She wasn't really going after him, really. But, I mean, she was, but she was like, this is well done, right? Wasn't that? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which was stupid. But, you know, she's, again, like. But I think she's thrown. If you're loved by that. By Twitter, like you're safe for it. It doesn't matter. None of it matters, I mean, which is fine. I, I would not want to be like Mina Kimes or Dan Lebetard or fucking who? who won? How did Katie Nolan get left off that list? I know. Katie, Katie Nolan's nowhere to be found anymore. She doesn't anymore, have a job, right? does yeah. she? Yeah, she's, so. she's out of work for a while. It's a shame. Hey, but at least uh, Jackie McMullen got the Lifetime Achievement Award. So that's a nice one. For what? Just all she's of her contributions. She's, she's a trailblazer in the field. Certainly. Oh, that's, okay. I, I agree with that. But like Lifetime Achievement, but like from the big lead? Yeah. Oh. It means I something. When she retired, we talked about that, right? Yes. Did I tell the story? I felt because I remember wanting to tell the story. Did I tell the story about in Arizona the Super Bowl with my dad's best friend or no? I don't think so. You told some story, but I don't think it was your dad's no. best friend. We were at the Super Bowl in Arizona. Jer, uh, Jerry and I. Dino did not go because Dino had to speak at a uh, some convention, so he didn't come. Okay. Where Jerry Thornton wrote jokes for him. So we were my my dad's best friend. My, we call him. He's not my uncle, but Uncle Doug lived in the area. So he's like, oh, I'll come in and. and and he said he wanted to see the whole soup. So I said, we'll walk around. Um, so we got some lunch at the hotel bar. And he's like, oh, that's Jack McMullen. He's like, oh, I, she's you know, he's like one of my favorite writers. I always liked her at the Globe. Da, da. I'm like, oh, and I knew her a little bit. And so I she kind of I kind of waved. She came over. She sat with us. She was so nice. Like, I, I wanted to tell the story because she was so nice to my, uh, my dad's best friend. He really got a kick out of it. She, we talked about the old Celtics for like an hour. Super nice. She did not have to do that. So I yeah. always think of that. And I felt bad I didn't tell that story. She was always so nice to me. Like that's you know I like Jackie. You've always been very complimentary. Yeah, Jackie. yeah. So I mean, I you might have said something similar to that if it wasn't. Yeah, like I don't really depth. care about her writing necessarily, not in a good or bad way. She's like I'm not really, but like uh, you know, she's a very nice person. I so feel like I'm, she's still hanging around. Like I feel like I see her she on. She goes a lot on of Simmons podcasts. podcast a lot and yeah. stuff. I think. Yeah. So I she think. just you know I don't listen to that stuff. I don't really care about the NBA that much, but yeah. But she's a she seems like a great. Uh, I've never talked to anybody who doesn't think she's a great person. So. Yeah. yeah. All right, is there any chance to go to the Super Bowl this year? None. Zero. Zero. I mean, if Bruce Springsteen called me and said, you know, you, you want to fly with me to the Super Bowl, <laughs> not, short of that, yeah. I, 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 they're not doing radio there. Oh, I don't know if they were. I don't know if Barstool do was doing something. No, is Barstool doing anything there? Did they do anything last year? No, because it was... Because of COVID. I mean, yeah. Dave might have gone. Like, Dave will go. Yeah. Dan will go. I don't know if they were doing the whole thing again that you went to the... Uh, no, because we were doing live Barstool radio there. Oh, right, right. right. Yeah, I yeah, understand yeah. what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, no, I no. <clears throat> okay. If asked... I would go because I love the company. And I, they've done a lot for me. I would hope they wouldn't ask me. I'll say this. If they ask me, I'll kill myself. <laughs> oh, no. And it'll be their fault. Oh. And I'll write it in the letter. <laughs> so, yeah. And I, I was not asked to go to Arizona. Uh, there's live trivia there. Uh, David Field Low, DF Low, as I call him. Has he responded to these uh, accusations? He retweeted it, but he didn't uh, respond telling. to it. That's telling. Yeah. yeah, once again, it's just like it's just like three years ago. They don't respond. You know, called me yesterday. I didn't answer Rico Bosco. Oh boy, you didn't answer. Didn't so answer. He, wow. he, listened, he listened. You think he's in on it? I think he's. In. I think he's like I said. Jeff is David Field. Hmm. Uh, Rico. Nobody's like Jerry. I don't know who Rico would be in the whole drama. I don't know. More like Zarbano, maybe. Like oh, I, I like Rico. So do I. But I'm saying, is he is he the Zarbano of this yeah. sort of the? Did I, tell, did I tell you guys I talked to Sarbano on the phone during no. my absence? No. We talked for about 10 minutes. We actually had a half-decent conversation. Oh, wow. Really? About yeah. what? Just catching up and just sort of like I, and, and like we talked and it, it was a good conversation in that, like, like I, I've said this, like to blame Joe Zarbano for me leaving EI would be like blaming the guy who operates the Haunted Mansion if Disney shut down. Like he, he I wish he had been more outspoken. I wish he had been a little more forceful, but ultimately it wasn't his fault. Just following orders. Yes, he, yes which I, I wish he had shown a little backbone. I told him it would cost him his job. It did, 
we had a conversation and he kind of was like, listen, I, and he's right. He's like, I told you and I told everyone when you were leaving, like, this is going to be bad for the station. Like we're going to, it's going to kill us in the ratings. So we went back and forth a little bit. We didn't resolve anything, but we actually spoke on the phone. Would you talk to him again? Sure. I'll talk to anybody. Yeah. yeah but like happily talk to him again. Sure. I don't, we were, we were friends. I mean, we were, you know, we were, we worked together at the website. Like he was younger than I was, but like, yeah, he's a young guy for him to potentially lose his job in that fight is a lot to ask. Sure. But I knew he was yeah. going to. Like, I knew he was going to be the fall oh, guy. Yeah, eventually. but you knew he was going to eventually. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I like, yeah, my thing with him is just he, he would just lie. That was the only, you know, that was, and he did say to me one time, like, honestly, it would be better off if you killed yourself for the company, like, during the whole thing. That's, That's why I remember you which, saying which that. Which was, wild. you know, and I brought, he denied saying that. So, I, who knew, who's to say? Yeah. But yeah. Well, that's a nice, nice little conversation to have. Yeah, I wouldn't call him a friend, but I wouldn't, you know, I, I, I'm willing to talk to anybody. Yep. You know, I even called Curtis, left him a message when I was out. Really? I was like, well, let's just have it out. He never called back. But I was like, let's have the whole conversation. Huh. Let's hear your side. Let's hear my Did side. Did you call Joe? Or Joe yes, call I called you? Joe. Oh, right. Yeah, I heard from an intermediary that that, oh, you know, right. that he's been asked. So I said, I'll, I'll, I'll fucking call anyone. I called Dave. You know, I'll call anyone. It doesn't mean that, you know, because, but then also it's kind of like, well, all right. Like Curtis, he doesn't want to talk, but then life goes on. No big deal. He's trying to do his thing and it's whatever. Good luck, you know? What else? Uh, you're going to sign up for Hillary Clinton's master class. Did you see any of that going around yesterday? The one where she was weeping? <laughs> where she was, where was crying. she reading the... She was reading what would have been... Uh, but she never wrote it, right? Well, she wrote a victory speech, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, yes. So she's reading her victory, but she's, oh, no. pre- she's pretending to cry. Did you I didn't this? see this. I only saw the, I saw a quick tweet about oh, it. This is raw emotion. This but is she's not. pretending to cry, right? No, this is raw emotion. She's not pretending anything. This so she's... Raw. how? So we are now yeah, very nearly an hour into this or no? I don't know. 45 minutes into this? Sure. How how far into a Jerry Callan episode would you be before you played this? <laughs> uh, probably five minutes okay. max. Yeah, yeah. So she's doing a master. They must pay these people a fortune. Crazy money. Steve Martin does one. Martin Scorsese does one. Gretz- oh, yeah. Gretzky just did one. Some Gretzky names. does. Like, yeah. How much they pay? How much do you think Hillary Clinton got paid for this? I bet she got paid a million dollars and then she makes she a percentage a of every of, uh, every sign up. You know, with you think Steve Martin got like a million bucks. Yeah. You should do one on podcasting. I'm all set. The people get this every day. I'd be so embarrassed if they offered me ten million dollars. I'd be like, "But people can't do it. They're gonna suck at it." Like, what is she <laughs> teaching? You're ten million dollars. She in the master class at like shaming like rape victims, oh, or no, what is she doing? It's like, like is, <laughs> resilience, resilience, resilience. Resi- what issues well, she had? Uh, she's she, pretty she, resilient. She doesn't go away. She's come. She's a overcome a lot of adversity. Master class or what is this? Uh, no, but here's her uh, starting to cry. Basically. Vince Foster. He, he, he <laughs> can't take this class because he's dead. <laughs> go ahead. I'm going to share with you what I intended to say if I had been elected in 2016. Hold on, sorry, Dave. <laughs> it's gonna hurt to be like the person who lost to Donald Trump, though. Like, oh you my god, lost oh. to Donald Trump. He shit all over you, <laughs> all kinds of shit. There was like that Hollywood Access thing came out the night of the, that debate, and you still couldn't fucking beat him because nobody likes you. <laughs> like anybody else could have beaten him. In that general election, I if still she lost it. to like Bob Dole, I think she could like. All right, well, yeah, or Mitt you know, Romney, or like right, the typical yeah. run of the McCain, yeah, like a hero. All right, but Donald Trump, but Donald, no, not just her. I mean, everybody hated politicians, and here came this fucking bombastic asshole. Yeah, but I'm saying, kinda, but but like she would have been like Mitt Romney, who should have been like, you know, he's he's great shit. Like you remember when Trump beat Hillary, like the she was at the inauguration. Yes, she was there. I remember there was like a breakfast or something that day and Trump introduced her and was like, oh, she's a great American. There was like a big standing ovation. Yeah. How wild is that now? Yeah. Like, what's the next thing that... He tried to be like, uh, cross the aisle for like two weeks. Yeah, but then, but well, if you watch his speech though at the at the inauguration, it was it was That's true. That, that would, that would, you're like, right about he that. He was like, right this fucking that. guy the last eight years <laughs> fucked this country over and it's over right now. Because I remember... George W. Bush is like, I forget his quote. Remember, they sh- he was like, that was some fucked up shit. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> um, what's the next time that all the presidents will have to get together? When Jimmy Carter dies, probably? Yeah. Right? I mean, that's I, a I fair, don't mean that's to a, be like... No, no, know. that's that's absolutely right. But Trump won't be there. No. no. Uh, I don't... Ugh, he might, you know what he's got? You know what he'll go? Trump will be at Dole's thing. No, no. Uh, oh, that's true. He, Dole loves but Trump. But I could see... Who else is left? We got Clinton. So Clinton will go. Yeah, he'll eventually he'll die. Obama will yeah, be a long at, way to go. Ob- but he'll be at Dole's thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know how in the age of COVID, I don't know how. The only person who wouldn't go to Dole's thing is Carter for health because he's so old. Yeah. Although maybe, yeah, and maybe they really got along. But I, I bet know. Trump goes even to Carter's funeral. But will he sit with the former president? No, he'll sit in a different section. Oh, that's too bad because he was at. 
Oh, he's still president when uh, George H. W. Bush. Died. Right, and they still get the cold shoulder. But he sat with them though, if you remember. Yeah, but it was, it was, oh, yeah, they don't want to sit with him. They're like, there's like a buffer. Like, yeah, they're like, they give, you know, they give him space. No, Bill Clinton's sitting there. He's like fucking like raped people. Like, what the fuck? I mean, Trump's an idiot. But I, anyway, sorry, I, 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 uh, Madam Secretary, I apologize. My fellow Americans, oh, thank you. Today, <laughs> you sent a message to the whole world. This is the tears. Masterclass so guy is like literally before. holding up the check. Like, you better fucking cry. <laughs> you better cry, Hillary. Why are you ordering like a masterclass and then like watching somebody weep? Do you know what I mean? Like, why? Well, if well, you ordered that to better yourself. I'm not particularly resilient about this either. Yeah. And as hard as it might be to imagine, oh, no. your daughter will grow up and become the president of the United States. Well, they won't. Statistically, they definitely won't. I am as sure of this as anything I have ever known. America is the greatest country in the oh, world. I always think of like the guy like in the room, like re, like with a camera. He must be so uncomfortable. That's got to be so uncomfortable. And that's like a really intimate. They, they're they're just like in one chair, like Chris is that's sitting I mean. in. It's a very close. It's like up the shot. Julie DeCaro, uh, where the guys are reading the tweets to her. Oh right, yes. yeah, it's yes. very close. Which is frankly more real than this. Yeah. This isn't even like people actually tweet that to Julie DeCaro. This didn't happen. She's like recounting a historical moment that didn't right. happen in history. Alternate history. I would, I would, I'd rather hear Trump do his concession speech. Can oh, that'd do be that? great. That yeah. would be good. Go ahead. Is there more from Hillary? There is a little bit. And from tonight going forward, together, we will make America even greater than it has ever been. Do, do you, either For one of you guys think this is actually the speech that was written or no? I don't. I don't. Like I, they, Probably not. See, You're right. Probably not. I don't know. I mean, they just, the, the Clintons are just, they just. She's has such an ego. I could see her keeping that. In, in, well, I'm sure in, historic. Somebody has it. Some museum or something, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I actually wouldn't be surprised if it was. She did. She was <laughs> planning to thank Donald Trump. And to Donald Trump, it is no secret that he and I don't see the world the same way. And in this campaign, we weren't shy about airing our differences, but he fought relentlessly right until the finish. And we wish him and his family well. Class. That's what she would have said. Wow. Yes. Maybe it's at the Bill Clinton Library where Steve Robinson was recently. That's right. Oh, that's right. <laughs> As he's fact checking the entire every exhibit, it's a very strange moment in history. Maybe you'll see a movie with him somewhere in America if the weather's bad. Oh, it'd be great. Yeah, Who you knows? have to travel. Like at some point, you almost just should do it at some point. Yeah, just, just for the just, like, yeah. just go see a movie in like Arkansas would be funny in some yeah. little. Yeah, town. I'm sure. I'm sure there'll, there'll be a number of different states I'll be attending. Good. Well, sure. I mean, how many? Uh, Maine. Yes. Oh yeah. New yeah. Hampshire. Yeah. Massachusetts. Oh yes. New York. Yeah. Where else? Uh, maybe Arizona. We might be going to Arizona this year. For what? Uh, family out there. Maybe Vegas. So you're going to watch a movie the day you... Oh, the I know. Flight. I got I to... Gotta, right. You're not going to count. The just, problem wouldn't be... It would be the harder movie. flying back, right? Because don't you lose three hours? You lose hours. Yeah. You have to see it that day. In might need to like do a layover. See a movie? Leave and, then, and see a movie? And yeah, then, and then maybe catch another flight or something? I don't seems know. perfectly reasonable. Yeah, it doesn't seem insane at all. Right? And you're going you're to bring your, because uh, I heard you mention the roadcaster. You're going to bring a board with you when you travel to do this? Well, that's why doing it every day is is potentially challenging. Well, if you're traveling, it's going to be every other day. Yeah. If you're going to Arizona, you're going to need to well, bring the it. Well, like, during the Wilbur weekend, though, we're going to be in Boston. I might just record on like Thursday and not record again until like Sunday. I won't be home. I mean, this is... <laughs> well, how can I upload it <laughs> this though? This is just... How can you have... Jesus Christ. Why is that crazy? Well, that, we just played the sound is fucking less fraudulent than yours. <laughs> it's than nothing your, fraudulent. Than your, than your, I'm being honest and transparent about how would I upload it? No, but the... What do you mean how would you upload Thursday, it? Thursday, the Sunday. If I don't have like, like what if the hotel Wi-Fi is like not great? Use your cell. Do your cell data. I don't know how to do any of that stuff, oh, David. We can help. You have enough Corral's people. Gonna be there. You have enough people that you know that can help you pull that. Well, on that particular weekend, yes, but not in like. Why wouldn't you go see a movie with your Minna fans on that Saturday? Oh, I will. Anyone who wants to go can come. Sure. Yeah. I mean, wait. I, wait. I, I, to, AMC Boston Common. I'm, well, I have to see what the movies. I don't know what I've already well, seen by then. Well, it's like an 18 screener, I think. It's pretty big, yeah. Or I might go see. Yeah, but I'll definitely the week before when the movie time is released, I'll, I'll let people know where I'm going. Absolutely unbelievable. Thursday to Sunday. Jeez. Well, you don't only have two days. You wouldn't get a. A show, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, but you're not even working those two days then. Uh, hanging out, you know, in Boston. Going, going, uh, going to the movies. What was your overall... Going to the Wilbur show. I'm what was your... Say. Yeah, great. I can't wait. What was your uh, <laughs> overall... What grade would you give the Quantum Week Live show? Uh, from like... Just your, your experience. Like, what did you... If, you know, from a, from a, a Chris... Uh, B, Chris. B plus. Yeah. I was happy. I was really happy with it. Good. The crowd was great. Except the people, I guess, behind you. They sucked. Um, and uh, the venue was okay. 
Um, pop, and pop uh, yeah, pop okay. too cold in there. I, 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 had, I had fun. There's definitely things we can improve on. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Like I said, I, I, I had a good time. I was relatively happy with it. What yeah. grade? What grade do you get? B minus. All right. Boring minus. No, no. How many I give a solid B. I give a solid right. B. It was. I'm right around there too. It, yeah, it was weird. It was. It, I'm telling you, I was the, the guys behind me. Like it would be like you would be. You, you do that game. What was it? The ten biggest box office movies the Coen Brothers did. Uh, no, we their brackets right with the right, right. Is eight. that what it was? It was eight. the eight. Yeah. And guy behind me is like, he's not even talking about. He's not even talking about uh, uh, raising Arizona. He's not even talking about raising Arizona. I'm like, I wanted, I didn't. I was like, the fucking movie didn't make any money. Like, what? What are you? Did, you were listening to the fucking game? The one when Kibbe kept saying it. He's like, I like that movie. What do you think of that movie? He's like, yeah, Nicholas Cage. I think I think Nicholas Cage is in that. The other guy's John Goodman. Can you even believe that? I'm like, Shut the fuck up. Yeah, they were. Great. That sounds rough. Was there any yeah. feedback on speaking of John Goodman on my Mount Rushmore? Uh, there was a little bit of feedback. Missing Al Roker was Ooh. huge. And then um, that's bad. That's why, a bad. That's bad. Why am I blanking? It's another bad one. I saw um, one that had a, a dash of veto from Sopranos. Did he lose, eligible? Did not lose enough. He didn't weight. lose enough weight. No, did not lose. Uh, why am I just blanking? MSNBC owes a shitload in taxes. I'm just blanking on his name. Um, preacher type guy. You know, oh, Al Sharp. Al, Al, Al yes. Sharp did. I'm sorry. Yep, yeah, he could be. Yep. I thought the Star Jones too. She could be. Oh, yeah, right. Was, yep. Uh, oh, who's that? How about Rebel Wilson or Adele? Oh, right. Rebel. Yeah, but Adele's Wilson. not like creepy skinny now she's lost a lot of weight but she's not i'm saying like, if you look at uh randy jackson it's fucking wild yeah but john wild. goodman's not like we're just so used to john goodman being a different size that's probably a two though that's probably a two yes yeah maybe i maybe john goodman should be out now roker should be in mm, i'll think about that not ready yet but i'll think about that rebel wilson i don't know why like she's not, she's not famous enough for me i don't really care no but she was like considered jackson, like though. the overweight well, randy jackson was more it, it is peak was more famous rebel wilson it's not the biggest show on television when people yeah. watching 30 you, million you, people you, a week you, you're probably right you're the probably only right. i would say is the the people on your mount rushmore their brand wasn't their fatness. Really. John Goodman kind of was. Was it? John Goodman was like the every like man. Like Rebel yeah. Wilson, like yeah. her agents told her not to lose weight. I think yeah. I think Al Roker was kind of the jolly, wacky weather yeah. guy too. Yeah. Randy Jackson was not. Who else is on there? Um, Drew, Drew Carey. Carey. Drew Carey wasn't. Drew Carey. He's an every man. Did I have Dick Cheney on there or no? Dick Cheney, yeah. You mentioned him. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Bob Dole got awfully skinny too at the end. We got some shit for the Bob Dole conversation the other day. Who did from who? Just like on social media. Oh no! Offended? Why don't you tell me? I wasn't on the show today. I know. But offended by what? It just happened. It was they just thought we were disrespectful. Who? Uh, random. I think people. About who, what though? I'm saying we just kind of laughed off the fact that he died. He's a hundred fucking years I old. They're great. I said I, I told my story about how I met him in Winchester. I know. He's I know. a great American. Yeah, I know. Social media. They just like obviously. I would not put him above Jerry Seesting on people in my life that matter the most. I'm just <laughs> being honest here. Oh, I would right, not put yeah. him over Randy Savage. Uh-huh. You wouldn't put him over Randy Savage. I, no, I, I, I love Randy I put Savage. Him above both those guys. I would not put him above the Honky Tonk Man. It's Honky Tonk. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah. guy was a great Intercontinental Champion. Was You're Bob right. Dole ever the Intercontinental Champion? He was not to my not the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. I think he did have some involvement with the WWE every now and then, though. Who Bob, Bob Dole? Dole? What he did? I think he did. I feel like I've saw him, I've seen him appear on WWE before. Is that true? I definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like a manager. Or no, something? no, no, no. It's like a character, but a like he collaborated. Like he showed up. I could be oh, totally like a live wrong. event. I think so. He's a great, great, great yeah. American. If, yeah. you, if you people are, don't see the fucking joke in that, go. I mean, go pound sand. Jesus. Yeah, yeah right. I met Bob Dole as well. Did you? Yeah. Minor league baseball game? No, uh, at a political event. I was sixteen. I was. I was more. I was more of a Steve Robinson. Uh, Ooh. So this was in New Hampshire during one of these. Uh, in Exeter. Yeah, when he was running for president. So this was in 96, yep. when he got the nomination. Yeah, well, right. Yeah. Leading up to that, he, uh, before the primaries. But uh, I met him and his wife. He was very nice. I thought his wife was kind of cold and distant. Really? Yeah. Uh, she was a very famous politician, too. She was a senator herself, wasn't she? North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. Are we playing a game today? We are. Right. Oh, nice. Go ahead, Dave. It's been a while. <laughs> I was nervous. You were? Yeah, because, I mean, you went basically almost, you know, hour plus without even referencing it whatsoever. I know about that, right? Happen. Quick reveal. I'm not Shyamalan Twist here. Uh, okay, so have you ever seen a high-low uh, on The prices Right? Uh, remind me. I, I so, have. So, like, but... you'll, they'll have, like, an item, and let's say that item's $3, and then the next item comes up, and you guys say if it's higher or lower than $3. And yes, yeah, that yeah, item yeah. Is sure, and sure, sure, sure. So we're going to do that with uh, movies that won the best picture in the, t- the first decade of the 2000s. Movies that won best picture in the first decade of the 2000s. With their box office. So the first oh, one is Gladiator, okay. mm-hmm. which made $187 million. Did it actually make that, or are we doing high-low here? I'm confused. No, no, we actually made that. I'm okay. giving you the America. first one you get. America, in, in, domestic, domestic box only. office. Right. Okay. 
So the next movie is A Beautiful Mind. Did that make more or less than Gladiator? And you're gonna get one. You get one miss on this. I'll say it made less. That's correct. Yes. Nice job. Thank made 170.7 million. That's the same star, Dave Russell Crowe, the yeah, Australian uh, actor and musician. I've seen both. Yes. 2002 is Chicago. Did that make more or less than A Beautiful Mind? It's a truly terrible film. How much did Beautiful Mind make? 170.7 million. That made less domestically. You are right. It made 170.6. Thank you. That was the hardest wow. one. Nice Oof. job. Wow. Thank you. Uh, okay. The next movie is Lord of the Rings. I'm going to say that made more than Return of Chicago. The King. That's correct. It made 377 million. Well, they, but okay, but nothing made more than that though. Isn't the game over at that point? No, we, we're doing the whole decade. Well, I'm, I'm, nothing, but the next one definitely will not have made as much as Lord of the Rings. Correct. Million Confusing. dollar baby. Is it more or less? You're going to oh, say Oh, I see what you're saying. They were going. Yes, yes. So they're less threatening. Yeah. Of course it did. It made 100 million dollars. Stupid movie, but yeah. I love it. I know you love the movie. It's yep. dumb. It's, there's, there's no way that there's no way that her mom would be that evil. It's a bad twist. Why? There's people like that in the world. She's fucking paralyzed her daughter. You no, just no, you did she, the case. She wouldn't be that. She like everyone in the would, case would, is would, worse than that mom. Would, what are you talking about? Everyone in the case. No, they're not. It's not everyone. But I'm sorry. A no. lot of the bad people. Kevin no. Mailer. No. no, 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 no. Dumb movie. No. Dumb movie. Uh, Crash. Did it make? Cra- it? Crash made less. Correct. Made fifty four million dollars. Yes. Two thousand six is Departed. That made more. Correct. 132 million. Mm-hmm. Next movie is No Country for Old Men. That made less. Correct. Made $74 million. Right. Slum Dog Millionaire. Ooh. I'll say it made more, but I could be wrong. You are correct. Yeah. 141 million. And for well, the ain't that much, huh? You're wow. going to get a clean sweep to get this right. The Hurt Locker. Hurt, Mo- Hurt Locker made less. 17 million. Clean sweep. Wow. Oh, wow. Kirkman had the king. Of that's a pre- that's an impressive performance. Wow. Huh? That's an impressive performance. That's pretty good. I feel like I, that's, nah, it's kind of an easy game. You Jesus got, you Christ. Got of those right, I would have gotten all of those right. You never even heard of half Just, those movies. I haven't seen half those movies, but you, uh, you, you can you, guess which ones. Yeah. It made more, you, like, got, you said Chicago was the hardest question. I would never have thought Chicago made that much money. Yeah, that's not worth saying. I don't understand. Yeah, you just I would have said low for Chicago. Okay, how said okay, that was the hardest Next decade, see if you get them all right. Sure, bust it out. Let's do it. Go ahead. Is that easy to find? Give me a second. I mean, if you go to the box office mojo, I suspect you'll get your answers. You gotta start. Not the the dash numbers dash box office dot org. What is that? That was the one I went to that I That's think a was good accurate. Sorry. Oh, in the numbers is not bad, but uh, for a box office. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize Dave was going to play too. But. I mean, Dave would have gotten, <laughs> Dave would have got two right. I would have gotten all of those right. It's ridiculous. That's a liar. It's, all right. Mm-hmm. Are you on? Uh... I said the best picture box office Google search, but that probably won't get me there. All right, I have the list here of the of the winners. I don't have the box office in front of me. Though. All right, so uh, so okay. Uh, you guys so, want to vamp? This is Smollett thing over. There's no more masturbation stories that are going to come out. Unfortunately, I don't know what to say about that, dude. That's I haven't talked to anybody involved. No, the Maxwell thing is still going on. They're getting rid of everybody on fucking. And like new pictures are coming out left and right. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. So you're saying the year after the Hurt Locker. Correct. Which was the King's speech year. King's speech year. Right. Okay. So I, I mean, what made more money, Dave? Uh, Hurt Locker or King's speech? The Hurt Locker. Oh, you're already wrong. So wrong. What? You lose. Those were harder good, movies. Good. That was no, too, I too just did the Hurt Locker. He, I even just said it made $17 million. Like It's such a layup. Oh, I even fuck. gave you the amount. I mean, that was two stupid movies. Two stupid movies to go after. What a conversation. Two stupid listening. movies. Two stupid movies. <laughs> give me normal people movies, for Christ's sake. But one best picture. Yeah, horrible. Movie. Shouldn't have, but it was both one best. Both probably shouldn't have won. One, you got one movie you couldn't even get it right. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm just happy you had to go through all that effort. To you thought it, the King's so. Speech was a stupid movie? Uh, I don't think I even saw it. I didn't really like it. Yeah, It was I okay. It. It was Did okay. not deserve to win that. Uh, it was Social Network here, right? I believe you're right. Yeah, that's a travesty. Yeah. Travesty. Yeah. Yeah. Social Network, definitely an overrated movie. Great oh, movie. Great movie. Justin not, Timberlake was one of the all-time worst acting performances. He's really good in that. He's actually very good in that. That is insane. It's the most important movie the last 21 years. That's insane. Right, no, you? no, the movie's fine. I just, Justin Timberlake was not a great actor. He's not as good as... Uh, would Bruce McGill have been better in that role? Oh, sure. <laughs> I think so. He'd be better in any role. As the, as the guy that found it. You think Will Smith as Bagger Vance would have been better if he played Bagger Vance in that role? Of course. <laughs> I mean, usually Bagger Vance just show up in different movies. I'd watch that. <laughs> just sure. uh, what else? That's a, that's a free, Bagger Vance is a freebie anywhere you want it. 
No, oh, you don't I'm have to sure pay. They're you don't that, have to they pay are anything for that. that. Fucker I wondered if it was like in the public domain. It's now. in the golf channel all the time. Yeah. Just, oh, it is. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just filler. There's only yeah. so many golf. It's that and Tim like, Cup. Yeah. Like what else a, you got? On a Wednesday night, if there's nothing going on, they'll throw bagger bands on at nine o'clock. What's the best golf movie ever? Besides, take away like Caddyshack if you're one of those people. Tin Cup or Dead Solid Perfect, which is a TV movie with uh, Randy Quaid, which is very good, based on a Dan Jenkins book. Interesting. I'm gonna yeah. write that down. Yeah, Dead like Solid oh, Perfect. Uh, yeah. Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. I'm not a huge Caddyshack fan. I like Caddyshack. It's a little a lot. messy. Very funny. It's funny, but it's me- it's that sort of uneven comedy of that time. It's not. It's not, which is still going on now, I guess. But very funny. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I think that's about it. Yeah. Ty right. Webb is such a great character. Great character. What's the one that, did you see the one that was like, not recent, but probably within 10 years, the greatest game or something like that? Oh, yeah. Was that Jim Caviezel. Yeah, it was not great. Yeah. No, poor Jim Caviezel. I know. He's struggling. Oh, that's right. He's the one who did the Bright Barty yeah. QAnon yeah. thing. That's right. <laughs> good. Yeah. It's good. That's right. Grab him on. Toronto, oh book God. Jim Caviezel. <laughs> you could probably get Jim Caviezel, I bet, now. I would talk to Jim Caviezel. I'm interested in people's careers like that. I'm always yeah. interested in people's snap. I don't know. He's well, it's not a bad. He was actually, in fact, a good actor. He's really good in Frequency, which is a, it's a nice of, movie. It's a, it's a good movie, but he's really good in it. He is good in it. Yeah, Dennis Quaid's in it, too. Yeah, I playing, like that movie more than I should. Playing Dick Vermeil soon. That's right. Yes. I'll be seeing him. Uh, Frequency, yeah, you will. Frequency is not a bad movie. It's not. It's a little stupid, but it's like fun. Like, you, they wouldn't make that movie today. No, well, there's no, no room for that for $40 million. No audience no. for that movie. What else, David? Uh, not too much else, unfortunately. No? That's the world. How about you, Chris? What do you want to promote? Anything? Uh, no, just uh, at a theater near me. That's check that out. And also check out Quantum Week. We had a... Oh, what do you got? We're in 1982 this week. Uh, so we covered First Blood on Wednesday. Oh. Um, and then um, that was a bonus episode. And then Friday... What was the song? Uh, it's Mickey, that, Ugh, that episode. Tony Basil. And then the Saturday episode is Shock the Monkey, Peter Gabriel. Uh-huh. And the movie is... Oh, my God. We just covered it last night. Uh, 48 Hours. Oh yeah, not my favorite. It's okay. I, I, I didn't. I didn't like it. You didn't like it at all. Eh, I didn't like it very much. I, I Beverly Hills Cop, Coming to America, so much better. I would agree with that. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, Jesus Christ, oh my God, I'm blanking. Um, Trading Places, Trading too, places much yeah, better. much better, much better. Over under that Quantum Week is finished by not April good. 2022. Yeah, 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 we're done. Really? This, Why? This, this project. Uh, you can hear. You can hear it in your voice. You're passionate. Yeah, about yeah, oh, and by the way, yeah. man, I heard several reports that you guys had a fight the night before, like a real fight. <laughs> yeah, we, he got mad at me, you know. About what? Uh, well, he wasn't drinking very much, and a lot of us were. Mm-hmm. And so um, real pro, Chris, the night before a live show, getting hammered. Yeah, I didn't drink the night of. He's also entertaining. <laughs> you drove, you so. drank after, I bet. Oh yeah. So you did drink the night of. Oh yeah, I meant leading up to the show. Sure. Okay. Uh, What's your rule? You don't drink. Don't drink during the day. Okay, but luckily for you in the winter, that's the day <laughs> more time for drinking. Four, four <laughs> o'clock. Yeah. yeah, I break so, the rule in the summer a little bit. So like, sh- if, I, if it's eight o'clock, all, Chris, all bets are Chris, off. We all know. We all. Yeah. Know. <laughs> so the 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 where are you the night before? Uh, we were at a bar in Dover. Uh, actually, we were right near Sutton. No, we were at a, a barcade called Tokens. It's like old 80s and 90s video games, and you can drink while you oh, play. Oh, that sounds okay. It's pretty fun. I was playing NBA Jam. Did you ever go to the Mexican place we went to? Yes, I've been there before. It was not bad. It's all right. It was not bad. Go ahead. Um, and uh, Carano, uh, I, I play tennis. I like to play tennis. Sure. Uh, and Carano, all of a sudden, on the show, is like, oh, I can beat you. I've heard this debate on the show before. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like... Why would you say that? Like, you have no idea. Why are you so mad about this? Why would you just laugh at him? Oh, I do, but he, I, he sometimes, like, every once in a while, he can be kind of arrogant, you know? Right. And it just, it's like, it's like, all right, dude, like, what the fuck? Like, let's play then, bitch. And he won't play me. And then he wow, had, okay. And then he had that bike accident where he broke his wrist. Sure, I'm sure that was a bike accident. <laughs> <laughs> There's no doubt. And, uh, so he's like, he's claiming, oh, the, when, when my wrist is stronger, I'll play you. So, I don't, you know, all right, it's fine. But now he's fine, supposedly, and he still won't play me. So that night, uh, a few of the guys were like, oh, let's go play tennis. I'm who saying, these, sure. Who are these people? R.A. Minahan, oh, uh, okay. Shank Fight Club. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, Christ. So not, not like actual people. Like no, right. Your friends, right? <laughs> right, of right, course, right, right. More hangers on. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so- God, that sounds like a dread. Doesn't that sound like a- yeah. God, oh, I was like, having a great blow time. that bar up. So then I just kept like, you know, needling crying. I'm like, oh, let's play right now. Right. Like, we'll go into my gym. We'll play. Let's- What's you being an asshole? I guess, but he won't play. Well, I mean, oh, I know, but you're drunk. Yeah. And you're being belligerent toward this guy. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, but you're also percent. probably being somewhat sarcastic. Oh, yeah, I, was being, but, I, was being, but, I, I was definitely was being Corona an asshole. sober, though? Oh, pretty much, oh, There's yeah. nothing worse, though, Dave. Was, when you're what, so, and the drunk guy is giving you shit, like, that's... It's that's, really annoying. That to, me is, that, to me, is punchable. How drunk? How drunk? Uh, what are you fucking talking about? I had, like... By that point, I had, like, say, seven. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And he had, like, one or two. I mean, come on. Like, yeah. Indefensible. It just depends how to me. To me, that is, pun- that is a oh, punchable. Oh, I was, I, was, I was being obnoxious. That is a okay. punchable offense
Well, it's concerning to me now is now you don't recognize how stupid that sounds. I don't think it's that You're stupid. drunk challenging him to a tennis match at like 11 maybe at he, night. Then, maybe then he beat me. So it's, he <laughs> can be like, so what? But also, isn't that funny? If we went and play tennis at midnight? No, not when you're drunk like that. It's not funny. I think it's funny. No, because everyone thinks they're funny when they're drunk. They're not. I, want, I wanted they're to play not. him in tennis. Th- he I'm wouldn't telling play you. Everyone thinks well, that's why we had the fight. I, I have to take his side on that's this. That's fine. One. Call him up. Call him up. Yeah. Well, hey, Carano and Colin are fighting anyway. They well, were going what? back and forth. Yesterday. Oh, we got oh, Dave's ducking this story. One second. Before you, to, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't call Carano yet. Don't call Carano yet. <laughs> you fucking it. phony. Unfucking believable. I'm not, I'm not a phony. Throwing Carano. Thank you. Chris. I did not throw Absolutely. Carano. Oh, you didn't throw him under the bus the no, other day? No, I didn't throw him under the bus, actually. Totally, totally show? With glee. Do you hear in his voice? He was, oh, of course. Like, nope. twisting his mustache. I'm glee. I'm gleeful all the time. As much glee as Carano has glee when he's watching glee. That's how much glee it Glee's not a bad show. I'm a gleek. No question. Is that what they call themselves? My daughter Kate used to watch it. Show. Bleakers show yeah. sucks. Terrible show. It's great. She show. was like a nine-year-old girl at the time. I know, no, no, no. I'm saying Wait, uh, seven beers and challenger to a fucking arm wrestling match. No, it's like the number one show in the world for three years. He was a thirty-year-old man. Come on. Yeah, gee, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Glee didn't feature a scene where, like, after the the mom died, they didn't fucking have her like on and like James Gandolfini's talking to her. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the worst scene in television history. Unbelievable. With Nancy Marsh if she dies. Oh, that scene. That scene's horrible. Worst. Nothing. That was worst scene ever. Worst scene anything ever on Glee. I hate fucking the Sopranos. I hate that. Podcast. I fucking hate oh, you're Michael Imperio. Oh, no. I've never liked. <laughs> I've, I've never liked the show. Oh, Ever. really? Ever. Wow, Dave. Is there any sound of me liking the Sopranos? I've never heard it before. Good. Good. Yeah. If there is, yeah. scrub it. I hate it. Okay. Okay. That scene is horrible. No, I'll, I'll take that. Oh, oh you haven't read it yet? No. Oh, yeah. It's it's, it's all water. And I'll give you the book. Later. Okay. I sent it. It's a classy move. You said who the book? I, I do classy things, and he's still mean to me. <laughs> Remember, I told you I PDF'd him the book. You were pissed at me. You were mad about it. I that was I can't read things online. Yeah. Yeah, that was okay. every page had the fucking thing over it. <laughs> yeah. And when you signed that, you had to start over again. You had a password yes. for this fucking book, like it's the Pentagon. Well, I think, I just, I think you can fucking two guys just rehashing their podcast sound. <laughs> like, I think you can add it to like a book. I can't do that. I, can't, I need to read yeah. a book. I'm old. Yeah. I can't. I can't do that. I I'm gonna just do the best of my. I'm gonna do the best of like as a book now. Just like yeah, I worked really stern. Did I'm a, I worked really hard on this? Here it is. Like, what the fuck? Think transcripts of you and Mike breaking down yeah, bad radio? Right, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Steve, my good man. So, what was what, the name of the company? Podcorn. Podcorn. Yeah. Podcorn, yep. which so, I've used before as well. Okay, great. I, I don't think we have yet. I have no idea. Probably no, with, no, probably with, not. probably with Dave as my producer, we will. Nope. So, he buries Carano. So, this happened on Carano's watch. Didn't bury him. Ask the question. Ask the uh, question. Don't oh, you ask questions? Carano. Sure. Yeah. Yes, but yeah, but, you're, but you made assumptions. I always make so assumptions. So, I find out that Carano was like, no, I was fucking. You know, you were there. It was in March while you were still producing. I think you're wording that wrong. I made the account before. I made the account for Jerry when Jerry's show started. Okay. That's the what fact. Account? What, was Podcorn owned by Odyssey? What, what Jerry, account? Which account? For Podcorn. Okay. So you yeah. made the deal with Podcorn. Yes. No. Like, yeah, you, you said cre- yes. No, you, you create an account. account. No, no, you, you create, create an account. Yeah, you create, you create an account. It's like a marketplace where okay. then you can go so you put it. You made it possible. You gave birth to it. You contributed to it. I definitely did. So you just buried when Carano it wasn't, for that. When it wasn't owned by mm. Odyssey, one. Oh, no. And two, I didn't use it when it was owned by oh, Odyssey. Yeah, but you couldn't know because you were under hold podcast. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Call, 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 he texted me a, a week after the show and said, thanks for coming. I did not respond. That's too long. Oh, here he is. You don't have to do it, but don't do it a week later. Classy move by me to do it the day next day, I think. I guess, but then you have to respond. I was like, oh. Uh, oh. Was like, but then you want me to reach out and ask you about the about this podcast. You're like, oh, why didn't you reach out to me? Because if I, if I ever reach out, I get mocked for you it. You can always reach out. But then I get m- made fun of. Well, you're on the show. What do you yeah, I know say? what I'm just saying. It's I can't life. win. It's, no, you can't. You see how it is? You not do the show and like, get oh, nobody of thanks phone. me. I thank the guy and I get shit on. You have to thank me. The show was great. I actually thought it was better than B minus. That's right. Yeah, I, I, his do, review. I do too. I thought it was an A minus. Oh, thank you. And this is a very good job. I probably would have gotten an A if uh, the popcorn were and decent a warmer too. and warmer. Yeah, and it was. Too, yeah, I love how Carano's ducking Colonnade's calls. Unbelievable. You've reached Matt. <laughs> well, here, was, here was my real point, though. Uh, in all of that. Uh-huh. In all of that, was that okay. he's advertising the company, not necessarily just, yes, I gave shit and talked shit about utilizing the product, but he's advertising the product. That is different to me. I don't he really understand ad- it anyway. I don't really understand the whole story. It's, like, it's, I don't know what it is. Yeah, you pro- know me. I don't know what this is. Do you is. want me to explain or Dave explain it? 
Uh, we'll start with Dave. <laughs> Podcorn yep. is where advertisers, let's just say, i.e. Milton's, would right. go on there and we say, love Milton's. I want to spend money. Go to Milton's.com. Go right to now. Milton's.com. Yep. I want to spend money with podcasts in the first quarter of 2022. So, so Milton's hires them. Nope, nope. Milton's just makes a listing, basically. And they put their oh, listing up oh, there. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And any sales, and now podcasters can go and say, oh, I see Milton's is willing to spend sure. money on a podcast. You can go pitch them directly through this platform. 10%. Uh, and Podcorn gets basically, what is it? Like 10% on yeah. each side Boy, or something sure like that. sounds like a scam to me. No, 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 it's not. It's fine. Scam, scam. It's fine. Well, it's, it's, it's good for independent podcasts because how else are we going to get advertisers unless it was like a marketplace? It's shitty. Thing. They screw you financially a little 10%? bit. 10%? Yeah. Jesus. What, what, Why don't we start with and do like 2%? Uh... Could you want to deal with all these sure. mom and pop no, I would. There's technology behind that. Yeah. Whatever. Either way. The, the, no bad. Jesus. Either way. The, the problem wasn't that he went and got advertisers with, like, let's say it was the Omaha Steaks he got through there. Great. That's awesome. Sure. It's that Podcorn, the company, is now owned by Entercom Odyssey, and you're, adverti- you're using but don't your you, but don't advertising you think, space to, not to advertise defend them, but don't them. you think they didn't know that? Oh, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's where I was just shit talking. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Sure. Yep. So you think... You think they should withdraw from that now out of... Yes. Yes, I agree with now that. Now that they know. I agree. I, actually, I actually yeah. agree with that. Yeah. I, w- I would. Now, I would. I'm more open. I think I think you said this the other day. I'm more open to them u- utilizing the service to obtain advertisers. But I'm not open to them advertising Isn't it easy for Kirk Minahan to say that when he works for Barstool and he's got... The, that's it's, he, Jerry's not in that position. Definitely. And so, it, I it mean, depends I how much sympathy. money they're getting from them, too. Probably not a lot. Yeah, I don't think they're getting that much. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. I hope they're making a lot. I mean, you know, that was my only point. You, you wouldn't add. Who else does Odyssey own? Go give another comparison. I have no idea. Pineapple Street Podcast. I don't know would we do is, an, yeah. a sixty-second ad read for Pineapple well, they, Street Podcast? If, I wouldn't know they own them. I have to look. If it you up. knew, they oh, own no, them. no, no, okay. no, no. I bury them in one. I do one read, bury them, and then they get rid of us. There we go. That's yeah. all. Well, Jerry's different. He's trying to make a living. I agree. Yeah. That's why. Like he's busy. Like he's like a big. Like he's so obsessed now with LZ Granderson's podcast that it's, it's almost like it's it's kind of affecting him mentally now. He loves that podcast. He loves it. He loves I, it. I read Will Leach's book. Will Leach wrote for WEI.com. Did he? At the beginning. Yeah. So this is when we first started the site in like 08. Yeah. I was an editor. I ed- I edited some of his stuff. And Rob was all excited. He was they positioned him as he's an outsider writing about the outsider's perspective of Boston Sports. Terrible idea, but we were just starting. Okay. And they paid him, WEI.com at that time, this is pre-98.5, this is pre, like, everything podcast really blowing up. We had a, they were paying him a fortune. They are paying him 750 bucks a column. <gasps> and nobody was reading it. So Rob's solution was like, well, we, nobody's reading because he's not writing enough. We have to pay him to write more. Oh, wow. Two columns a week. He's making $1,500 a Holy week. Holy shit. 400 word columns. I added stuff like top 10 lists at the end of the columns. Because there was no, there was nothing to be. The right. other guy was Schilling, who we paid a fucking fortune to. <laughs> and Rob was like, "They're going to do a Cy Young bracket, which is a, uh, all the Cy Young Award winners, like sixty four different Cy Young Award winners in a bracket." Schilling's like, "Oh, that's a great idea." Because I think the position was that Schilling was the best pitcher never to win it or whatever. That was like the okay. whole pitch, which yeah, is not right. true, but whatever. He's yeah, yeah, it's... Um, so I wound up doing the whole thing, oh. <laughs> which was I actually enjoyed. It. it was kind of fun, like you know. But like th- these guys didn't do anything. It was funny. Well, each, I, I don't really have anything. I remember he had a big battle with Buzz Bissinger on TV once. It's actually covered in the uh, James Miller book. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, on um, Costas' show, maybe. About like old school journalism versus yeah. old school journalism. His book was atrocious. I'm it was, sure. It was, was a rear window was, knockoff. He, Oh, that's right. That's it was, right. It's yeah, a yeah, it's yeah. a fiction that's book right. about a guy that. in a wheelchair. It's a lucky guy, or right? Yeah. It, it was it was it was it ripped off rear window. It yeah. was wild. So I'm taking. I'm gonna take. Ooh, this pains me. I'm going to take Dave's side on the popcorn thing. What is Thank it? You. Popcorn. Popcorn. Thank you. Popcorn. Thank you. Podcorn? Yep. What a terrible name. Thank you. And I'm going to take Matt's side on the tennis battle. Okay. Yeah. That's oh. fine. So I lose. You guys should do a thing where you play tennis and like record it. That sounds really good. It's a good yeah. original idea. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Dave, will you announce well, that? I think it's been done We before. should definitely do that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Well, Mike yeah. and Dave will announce it. Yeah. We'll, we'll, I know a good play-by-play guy. We'll dig I got up, the whole we'll thing. Dig up. Yeah. What's his face? Location. Yeah. The guy's on cracked out of his head. Remember he got upset about that? He was not. Oh, he was really upset. Oh, he, he was, was upset. He got Dave. upset at Matt's song, too. People Matt get. did the Meth and Pot song. Yes, which is a funny song. Yeah, yeah people get like Back that. Back when Matt cared about the show, before he bailed on us and went to Jerry Kelly. And went well, you the, made that possible, so you're to blame. Went to the bosom of extreme right wing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I try and listen to that podcast now. Karama never shuts the fuck up. Oh, shut up. Jesus, not the Matt Carano show. God. I think Jerry likes that, though. That's the vibe I get. I guess he's mailing it at yeah. this point. Yeah. It's like I've, yeah, I, I guess. I don't know. I've yeah. t- I talked to Jerry now more than I think I ever... Well, since we since we stopped doing the show together, so... 
That's the other side. It's like that that podcast is owned by like the most. You know, I love Corrado. I'm kidding. Dude, Chris gets all worked up because meanwhile, he fucking, he's like all defensive Corrado. Meanwhile, he's harassing the guy. Embarrassing him in public. We didn't just find out for no reason. People leaked it. Oh my God. You clearly leaks left and right. Oh yeah. You clearly embarrassed him. That should have been addressed at the top of the live show. Uh, you yeah, wanted I, I, don't, I don't know if it was like B2 inside base. I don't know. I would. I, I thought during the questions it would come up during the Q&A. Yeah, Kirk wanted me to ask her the questions. Yeah, I That's did. Fine. That would be great. I, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. The table That's setup fine. was a little low budget. Oh, I don't know what happened. That was, <laughs> the, was, that was uh, the venue. So, yo, so, so you're down on the strand. How much did they get out of this? 500 bucks. That's a good deal. Good night for them in, this, in today's climate. That's yes. not bad. There was, a good, there was a good crowd there, though. Yeah, we had about twice, about, you know, that many no-shows. Yeah, you were saying people just bought the tickets. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we did. We did all right. No, I thought it went well. So I, I'd like a smaller room next time, though. You know, ideally, like sell out would be kind of cool. You know, my advice again. I know you'll follow it. I do, which is fine. Uh, I think you guys should do keep it exclusive, like once a year. I agree. Once a year is good, and then yep. yeah, like a hundred seats. Yep, that's you'll the sell goal. It out. There's a place in Portsmouth that they want to do. Which one's that? The Loft, the Music Hall Loft. Okay, so you're just gonna do New Hampshire. Uh, well, maybe Massachusetts, but I just know the Loft would be like a perfect spot. It's like, it's a smaller room. It's Portsmouth's a really cool town if people want to have good fun. And that, yeah, that's kind of the other problem is it's just a very big room. Yeah. Like sound, you know what I mean? It was like, so, so huge, but it, but the, it was a... Uh, Could you have done the one we met you guys in before? Is that too small? Like oh, we, no, they don't have a stage. That's where oh, I thought... So when I went and did right. the tour, I thought I was going there. So that's the room that I wanted. Yeah. And I go in there. I'm like, there's no stage. He goes, yeah, I know. I'm like, well, I fucking need a... St- oh, that like, wasn't big enough though. That was like 50 seats. That probably wasn't 100 people. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think yeah, it's like okay. 70 or 80. Oh, wow. Believe it or not. Yeah. That, that was actually thought. pretty good. Like, I know. Intimate I, that's wise. what I thought could've, I was You guys could have done um, like uh, bar stools or something. Just set, you know? Yeah, that's we got to put the equipment somewhere. And it would like, when you walk in that room, you would have like walked right into the equipment. It wouldn't have been yeah. a good... Yeah, it's small. It's small. It's tight. And it would have been the same amount of money for the room we got in that room. Oh, really? Yeah. So I think they could do that event quarterly. No, you know, no. Really a lot of people that's, that's going out there had just no. wanted to have a good time. I really like keep them. You want to keep yeah. wanting more. I think we might do it next year again in November. <laughs> you know, what are you laughing at? It's not you. It's not your, like it's, this no, but, is a, but, this no, is but a that, community but, of people that like also hang out with each other. No, but it affects your business. If you do it too much, people stop doing that though. They have lives and they're like, other. Oh, fucking. you want people to be again. excited about it. Yeah. Like at some point, like at some point we're not going to sell shows out. Yeah, you know, know. like it's gonna ha- it happens to everybody. Like yeah. it's gonna happen. I don't know. We saw if we go to soccer next summer. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We're not gonna do anything between. Like I don't think we'll do anything in the spring. I wouldn't imagine. I can't. I don't think. Maybe something small. I don't know. Well, yeah. well you like mentioned the tech, theater, uh, Texas. Yeah, I don't want to do a show there though. I just want All to play right. mini golf. I don't like. I don't want to. If Barstool was open to it, I wouldn't do any shows or any live shows or any podcasts. I would just play mini golf. <laughs> Okay. Just on my own, not, yeah. not record that either. Right, right. So he's right. Wouldn't do don't, anything. They, don't they snap all these athletes? I like call it, I must have some eligibility. Uh, you definitely do. Maybe, what, sure. what do they call it? Uh, I don't know. You know like Dave signed, like they signed up all these college guys to play sports. Oh yeah. The Barstool Athletes Program. Yeah. Maybe I could yeah. do that. Yep. Would That's they pay right. me my current salary to do that? I bet they would. Huh. So yeah. in your mind, after the Wilbur, the next live show would be Saco in the summer. No, I think we'll do something small in the spring. Like I don't want to do another, like the Wilbur's going to be to me big. Like I don't want to, I like, I like, I like, Big, I consider soccer big. There's like over a thousand people at those oh, yeah. shows. Yeah, for sure. So I go like big, like, small, like BFW type size, Madawaska kind of. We're yeah. not going to Madawaska, but like big, small in the spring. Yeah, big in the summer, small. We didn't do anything in the fall this year. Oh, we did cycle four because we had to, but like, but like small. Like ideally, like we'd have done something in October, November with like almost like a place you did that. Yeah, because I think that's fun. I think it's exclu- yeah. exclusive and people want to go and have a good time. So I think that'd be fun to do like the small theaters. Like he was, just, he was just referencing like that West Newton theater that's just like right in the the movie theater. Yeah, yeah. Like that. yeah. yeah. It's a great theater. Yeah, and it has a lot of like second run or independent films. So great that, theater that might bail me. I've out. seen a million movies there in, the, in my life yeah. with the Wilbur. So I only have tickets to one show. So if, you you can go to both. You will be at both shows. But uh, you'll be at both shows. You're fine. Yes, but if Are someone you asking for permission, no, no, no. If someone like wanted, there's going to be two different shows. If if I'm from if I'm a listener, like, and I wanted, there'll that. be different elements to two shows. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, it's going to be hard. There are certain set pieces that'll have to be repeated at both shows. I okay. Think. But yeah, I think you're not going to get it. I, I wouldn't. Do you think I would do that? I'm not going to get it. No. I, say, no I, I can't. No. No, I'm concerned it's going to get pulled off. I, it's, you know, <laughs> dude, I'm not thrilled with Colin. I'm very happy it's with Colin's performance about. on the other project. Very happy with his performance on the other project. He's doing a great job. Yeah. Dave, you're doing a great job. Oh, thanks. I will flush the toilet now. <laughs> Two out of 10 times. You really? That's, that's gross, by the way. I don't care. It's it makes my, everything smell like piss. It's my house. I don't care. Yes. I own it. 
Too bad. I own it. It's also not a house, but go I on. own it. Yeah. I own this yeah. fucking place. Okay. Uh, but on the Wilbur, I give Dave so far a D minus. Oh, no. Is he the stage manager? Is that his role? I don't fucking know what he is. You're not exactly providing the most direction. I'm going to have to replace you with Karana, who volunteered to do that, by the way. What, is, what could, like, what haven't I done? Karana's a man of the theater, I, I would suspect. Yeah. He's a musician. Yeah. That girlfriend in high school. I've already figured out all the tech shit. So what's, what's your problem yeah. here? We'll see. We'll right. see. All right. We'll see. We'll find out. All right. Uh, all right. We'll be back next week for a few days. We'll figure out when then, when and where that's going to be. Uh, go subscribe to Chris's podcast. Uh, go to Milton's. Go to Milton's.com. We love Milton's. Um, I guess we, we have real shows and real advertisers next week, dude. We have real shows and real advertisers. Oh, Christ, yeah. well. Love all right. it. All right. We, you do? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll talk to you then. Goodbye. This was pretty reprehensible. I, I don't know how it can be anybody's idea or humor. No. Oh, my God.